Bem, estamos de volta, hein? estamos de volta no Nine Club, rapa. Hoje temos um convidado especial, especial, especial. Adelmo Jr. está na casa. Como você está, Adelmo? I'm fine, thank you very much. <laughs> A pleasure to be here. Yes, yes. Another, I'm learning all of the intros in different languages. I got Spanish and now Portuguese. Amazing. How it, dude. Was it good? It sounds nice. Which one was harder, Chris? <laughs> Slight differences, mm -hmm. but the it, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> sounds good. Hey, Adelmo, thank you so much for coming, man. My pleasure, This is man. amazing, bro. Mm -hmm. This guy has been around the industry forever, bro. A long time. We're, we're talking like arcade back in the day. We're talking a lot of stuff, bro. iPath. iPath. <laughs> man, listen, bro. Everything good, though? Everything is beautiful, man. How's Brazil? Oh, Brazil is fun. Brazil yeah. is nice. Uh, you li live, you're living out there. Yeah. Lived here for 14 years straight. Um, I, I never imagined that I was going to stay more than 10. I was like, well, uh, like max 10 years. You know? I mean, 10 years is a long time. Yeah, yeah, I know. And then it was like 11, 12, 13. I was like, man, kids start growing. I was like, man, I need like grandma and grandpa, you know, close to my kid. Right. And it was fun. It was fun to be back, uh, to, to be around like the skate community of Brazil as well. Because I was, you know, like I was going to Brazil yeah. every like five months or six months but mm. living there is different you know like filming with my friends from back in the day and right. skating traveling cities that i never been to okay so it was really cool and i'm so, sure too just being over here the skating in brazil was getting bigger and bigger yeah, and bigger, and bigger. Sure. so like, you were also missing out on that yeah no doubt like i've seen getting bigger and you know more videos and more photographers and more videographers and all that more incredible skateboarders yeah more yeah. and more yeah. and yeah. Th this is like you know like a factory <laughs> of like incredible skateboarders over there so well now that you're here let me ask what, what what's going on out there is it the, <laughs> is it the water is it the acai what what why yeah people what's ask that on? man like i don't know i think everyone is just so hungry you know like they are like big fans passion yeah of mm -hmm. what happened like in US and even in Europe like we always follow like the the re European videos like mm -hmm. back in the day and even like Asian videos so like we have a lot of skate rats in Brazil I, yeah, all I mean, over the place you know like they, they really like follow everything and man they are hungry you know yeah. like if they don't have the spots they trying to find a way to to skate like spots that are rough you know sure so they keep skating man and like And they come here and they see like, like our spots here are not easy, you yeah. know, but like they come here and they're like, oh, it's a little better. <laughs> 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 right. It's not right. rough. I also <laughs> think it's good. too, it's, it's the football, yeah. the soccer, you yeah. know, you guys grow up using your feet. That's true. We grow up using our hands. Uh -huh. You know, we play baseball, we play basketball, basketball, football, yeah. our football, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. you know? Sure. Um, so I think that, In my own mind, I, I think that you guys have generations and generations yeah. of using your feet. Yeah, it's funny because like I never thought that way, but like yeah, like everyone plays soccer, you know, right. football, and uh, you know we have the jinga playing football. Like you know, it's kind of that style, Brazilian style of play football with like dribbles, you know. Right. So maybe you know for the skate. Board like, control. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What is it? Uh, capoeira. Yeah, the capoeira is very similar. Uh, uh, as the way of playing football as well, yeah, you know, like yeah. with the moves. Very and, graceful. Yeah, and, then, and like you know. pretend you're gonna do something, you do something else. Yes, you know, like, fake right. Out. Yeah, yeah. Fake him for sure. <laughs> you think he's gonna come out 180, but he's yeah. gonna back side. <laughs> 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 so you true. grew up in out there. What was the name of your the, the town you grew up in? Aracaju. Aracaju. Yeah. Um, skateboarding big out there it's a your... small town okay. uh, it's the smallest state of brazil seriously but for some reason man like we had so many skaters and we i had i had a friend uh, his nickname is mosquito okay mosquito yeah and he was the one that was traveling to sao paulo very young you mm. know like he was maybe like 
12, 13. And oh, he, maybe he, with his parents or something? Actually, by himself. Like, his really? parents wow. his parents w- were flowing him over there. And and then, man, he, he was so good. Such an amazing skater. Mm. So, like, he went to Sao Paulo. He would come back and say, man, like, that's the way the guys do over there, you know, because Sao Paulo is is like LA for you guys, you it's know, city, where yeah. everything happens and all the companies are there, all the photographers and all the... So he's, he's singing over, he's singing yeah. over there and bringing it back. Yeah. So, and, and, and that was, was funny because like our region of Brazil mm-hmm. is just like the Caribbean, you know, like the vibe, everyone's mellow, laid back, you know, vibe. yeah. Beach vibes. Yeah. yeah beach vibes. Vibe. Yeah. And and we had skateboarding for so long because of the surfing community mm, as okay. well, you know. But it was very mellow, like laid back, you know, nothing to be thinking of being pros or, you know, uh, not even going to Sao Paulo. Just having fun. Just having fun. And mm-hmm. this friend of us, he was like going and bringing news and bringing all the information, bringing, like, the videos from U.S. And oh, wow. So, like, we we even had, like, the original tapes from some videos from the late 80s and early 90s, you know? Okay. So, like, the Age Street videos and the Santa Cruz videos. Blind new, video new days. Deal, video days. Okay. Like, I used to skate, like, guy song, like, every contest. Like, the Jackson's <laughs> Just Five. Let me, yeah, wow. let me get that song. <laughs> yeah. right, right. That's a I song wanna, that'll hype you up, too. Yeah, you can wanna, visualize guy <laughs> yeah. doing his shit. Yep. How well, old were you around this point? That was, like, 91. During the video, I was, like, 12. 12, okay. 11, 12. Well, wow. Yeah. Wow. It was funny because for me, I, I started skating when I was nine. And this friend of mine started traveling by the time I was like 11. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we were getting so much information, you know. And I was maybe the younger one of the group. And you said he was really good. So yeah, that's, he was amazing. That's so great it was to have like him around. A big push, you know, because like he was like I was that time everyone like skating switch. Yeah. And that's funny too because like if you see Brazilian skaters, a lot of them love to skate switch. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe this was one of the reasons because the videos we got like the blind and the Edge Street like Matt Hinsley start like switch skating. You know, mm-hmm. those are the videos that was that were like our reference you know okay so like uh, everyone starts skating switch you know mm. like switch skating switch switch the the switch dance part on the 411 oh yeah was our favorite <laughs> <laughs> so like, wow yeah. switch dance wow switch dance you know yeah yeah and that became yeah. so big you know like in brazil wow like people skating switch and nolly and like paulo diaz inspired you know oh, like sure nolly tricks oh nolly you know yeah man it's Paulo's funny, a shit. Man. Yeah. <laughs> so did you have like a, a shop sponsor out there like what was your path yeah th- this friend of mine his dad had a shop oh perfect yeah, so he, that was the first shop that would take it, would take us to like demos and you know mm. like the smaller contests and then like we tra- start traveling like from the other cities of the northeast region. Okay, like that's where I'm from Brazil. It's like the coastal, mm-hmm. like between the north and the southeast, which is São Paulo, Rio. Yeah. Then you go all the way up. It's the northeast mm-hmm. of Brazil. That's you, where I'm from. You said it was like a two and a half hour flight. Yeah. From like your from area. From São Paulo, right. Rio. And then we start going from city to city in this region, mm-hmm. but not really going to Sao Paulo. This friend of us was the only one going mm. and bringing news and right. developing, you know, like skating better and better. And, and then like, we start getting like so much skateboarding in my hometown cause, because of, of Mosquito. Oh, he was a, yeah. wow. Yeah, so then he brought a camera, the first, first camera to film. Huh. Like, and then like he, he, he started filming all of us and sending to the videos of Sao Paulo. So we started getting tricks in the video. So my city kind of like developed very early, you know, like in the 90s. Wow. So if yeah. it wasn't for Mosquito, you wouldn't be yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's amazing. What and video was it for? At that time that he was sending footage, it was called Silly Society. Hmm. Yeah, that was like a society, like uh, was it like a four in one type thing? Yeah, oh, it was. Cool. Was our Brazilian four one one at that time, and this vert skater called Cristiano Mateus. He mm-hmm. was like a pro skater. Okay, and he started filming everyone in São Paulo and made like our type of four one one. Gotcha. And it was big for us, you know. Oh, was it, was it? very big? Very huh. big. How many issues did they do? Um, I think they did like 
20. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's around, a lot around that's a 20, run. yeah. Yeah. And uh, f- because I forced so many of us, it was so hard to get the videos from US, you know? Right. We would get like record, record like tapes over and over again. The video was so bad, <laughs> yeah. the quality. Yeah. But that's all you had. We yeah. had, and we right. watched it, and it, we knew maybe the video would come out here, at, let's say, beginning of 91. Okay. And you'd watch the video in the beginning of 92, for example. So oh, you wow. guys were like a year behind. Yeah. At that time, we would like, get like some time, like in, in Sao Paulo and Rio, people would get a little before, but okay. in my region, it was like... For it to kind of climb up the coast. Yeah, you know? for sure. Yeah. Uh-huh. It take a while. And so you started getting footage in these videos. Is that kind of how you started to get yourself known out there yeah is that that was like maybe the main like thing like mosquitoes start filming us and mm. then like a couple of tricks in the videos and then we had the first like little video part you know okay and then everyone was like wow you know like those kids from the northeast you know yeah and then like some pros would come to do demos mm. and then they would met like some kids and at that time Fabrizio Santos as well from right. my hometown like start filming filming and we like everyone like kind of like pump each other you yeah. know like Fabrizio's from your hometown yeah from my hometown oh, as awesome. well wow yeah okay were you buddies with him skating yeah, or was he, like, yeah since, all the time since the first day he showed up at the session like a, a street session where street skating one night like at the curb time you okay. know like mm-hmm. And he showed up, and we never saw him. He was like, whoa, man, welcome, man. Let's go skate, like, you know. Wow. Let's street skate. There is a skate park right here. Okay. And that, that same skate shop, Mosquito's dad, he built, like, a min, mini ramp mm. and that little street area in the back of the shop. So it was our, our like, first, like, concrete, like, ramps. God. We had, like, wood ramps before, like, jump ramps and Oh, stuff. he built concrete? Yeah, so he built, like, um, a concrete mini ramp wow. and then, like, some ra- some other ramps, a manual pad. And, oh, manual yeah. pad, of course. Yeah. So, like, Mosquito, his family... Uh, they they had a lot of impact in the skate scene of my hometown mm. and not just my hometown but this whole area of Brazil. Wow. They were yeah. very responsible for that. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, did the shop last a long time? They Is it still, did. Yeah. They did until the late 90s. Okay. And then Mus- uh, I, no, I, th- I think like a little more. Like yeah. Mosquito moved here at the same time as I moved here and oh. Fabrizio moved here as well. Okay. So he kept the shop but we had another friend who did like a skate shop in 93. Oh. So this guy was more the skate rat, you know, like Mosquito's dad was doing more maybe for his kid, yeah. you know. And then he grew up and then became a pro and was traveling overseas and mm-hmm. like Germany, all those contests. And sure. then like came to US, Canada, and okay. then decided to move here. Huh. So maybe he was like, you know, like now he's gone. Like, yeah, what do the he, shop yeah, anyway. yeah. And this skate red friend of us, he kept the shop, and it's, until this day, he still has the shop. Ha- yeah. oh, it's amazing. Wow. Yeah, Venice huh. Skate Shop. Venice, Ven- actually, Venice Skate yeah. Shop. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Uh, what, you said you guys moved out here kind of at the same time, uh, you, yeah. Fabrizio, and Mosquito. Mm-hmm. Not all together, though. You yeah. kind of just separately. Yeah. Um, what was the, did you, were you sponsored by that point, or were you trying yeah, to come at, out here at that to... Time, at that time, for me, it was like, 2001 for Fabrizio was 2000. Oh, and for Mosquito, I think was 2000, 2001 as well. Hmm. What happened uh, at that at that time? We would have like some Brazilian sponsors, so we would go to like the European contests. Okay. So some guys from here, like I met over there, like yeah. before even like moving here. You gotcha. Know, on those trips. And then we would go with like a bunch of Brazilians, like the army always together. <laughs> army. <you> know, <laughs> right. Like 20, 25 deep, deep sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. That was awesome. I was shocked. I was like, holy shit. You're yeah. 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 I'm like, hey, nice <laughs> figgy tray. <laughs> yeah. 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 So. And we always run in like together, you yeah. know, with the army and stuff. Well, it was the same too. When I, I would go out to Barcelona uh-huh. and it would be like an army of the Brazilians uh-huh. would show up at like Parallel Always, or Macba. Yeah. And I thought we thought that was amazing. Always, you know? yeah. That, that's amazing, man. For me, it's like an honor. When I moved here, I used to go like in some sessions sometimes to shoot a photo, like film. Mm-hmm. Sometimes like the film or the photographer would be like, 
The arm is not coming, right? I was like, man, they are. They always are. If you're a photographer or like videographer, you want the arm to come. I know. I know. But sometimes if you want to get stuff done, right? You know, you want getting kicked out and stuff. But but you can still like walk away with thirty clips. That's true. That's true. We always run like that, like run deep. It's amazing. And it was tight going to Europe, and we always had those sponsors from Brazil like helping okay. us to, to be there, like mm-hmm. to pay for this trip, but we all always would take like product as well. Mm-hmm. So a lot of boards That's and nice. a lot yeah. of, you know. Gotta survive. Yeah, and then we'd be there for a month. Mm-hmm. We'd do like the four contests that they usually have, like Monster, Monster and right. like Dortmund, uh, or whatever. England yep. and France. And then like at that time, people were not going to Barcelona yet. No, so we would yet. go to the contests and we would go back home. Okay. So every year we would have like, maybe starting in 96, 97, every year we'd have someone that would go to those contests, mm. would move here. Then was like Carlos de Andrade. Wow. And then next year would be someone else. Hmm. And then TX came. Yeah. Oh. And then they're like, man, you should come. You know, everyone that would come would say, man, you should come. Okay. I was like, Man, I don't know. I was I was studying at that time. I was doing like uh, tourism in the university. Oh wow! And then I was like, man, I wanna finish, and maybe I would go. Mm. Then one more would come, and then Fabrizio from my hometown came, and he's like, man, let's go, come on. And I was like, okay. I talked to TX. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go for like two months. Okay. You know, like I'm gonna go in December, mm-hmm. just to skate see how it goes, you know, just like have fun, like not even worried about sponsors or anything. Where'd you go, Costa Mesa? Yeah, no, no, at that <laughs> no. time he was in Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach, oh, yeah. okay. That, that was before the Costa Mesa era. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. Did you know English at that point at all? I, I did, uh, and it's funny with English, when I was nine years old, mm-hmm. uh, my, my mom was a, like a records collector, like music, you oh, know, wow. she loved music. And mm. and my mom, she's from man, tiny tiny city in the countryside, you know, like very country, like Brazil style. So like doing like you know vegetables and farming and stuff like that. Living off the land. Yeah, but for some reason I don't know how she would know all the music from U.S. and from Europe, like and and she started like collecting records and okay. she got married with my dad and okay and she had so many like records from from here and the music that really got into me was like some brazilian music mm. and reggae music oh yeah you know so okay. like and then i w- would be listening to reggae music and, and that touched me you know even like a young age and i was like sure. oh i wanna mom like i wanna know what they saying because like you feeling something yeah mm. I, I feel this music right <laughs> and wow. then right. like and she put me in an english like school when i was oh. nine. Oh, that was, oh, really? that's great wow. Wow. and then i did like three years straight mm-hmm. and at that nowadays like a lot of kids do that in brazil sure a lot of kids like they go to school like very early to learn english mm-hmm. uh, they the regular schools already have english uh classes okay but usually parents like you need a little more. Yeah, than they put school. like they put like in an English school, mm-hmm. and uh, my mom did that when I was nine. And it's amazing. I, I was there for like three years, and I got a, like a diploma. You know, like oh English like degree. Now you can listen That's to awesome. the records. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so like that that is, so, the in the yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, What a bomb bomb. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. and that that was like. The, how I I kind of start I started like speaking English and and that's funny because all the European trips that mm-hmm. we would go, the first one I was fifteen, and I would help the guys so much with the English. Okay, like, you were almost so their tutor. Much. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like because a lot of them didn't speak English, mm-hmm. so like, hey man, like what they say? Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. And sometimes like company owners or like team managers. Mm-hmm. Like, could come talk to us, you know? And, right. Oh, man, you guys should go to California. And yeah. they're like, oh, you want some boards? And the guys, what they say? Man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it was a good, like, it was good to know English yeah. at that time. You yeah. were the translator. Yeah, for sure. That's amazing. <laughs> so many trips. So when you came to L.A., you stayed with you stayed with Rodrigo yeah. in Huntington? I told TX, I was like, man, I'm going to go for two months, you know? For right. you keep saying, you, get, you keep saying, you know, like... And, and at that point, I finished the sixth semester okay. in the university. So I had one year to go. 
Mm. So I was like, yeah, it's almost done. So I'm gonna go for like two months. Sure. Not the holidays and Little, stuff. Yeah, vacation. So I came in December, stayed at TX house. And that was funny because one of the first sessions we we did was uh, we went to downtown LA. Okay. Maybe the second night I was here. And we went to the wheelchair rail. Yeah. And man, I they they were like, man, this 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 spot is legendary. I was like, yeah, I know this spot. Yeah. Man. Was, uh, I was wow. like, yeah, I know, man, I know this rail. Right. And I was like, you should do a trick like nobody did. I was like, then I look at the rail. I was like, man, I think I'm gonna try nollie from nose, you know, like. And then man, like did the nollie from nose, and like and everyone start like talking about that. Right. Yeah. And and that was fun. A couple of days later, we went like to dinner with Lance and Richard mother. Sick, mm -hmm. yeah. And Richard was like, oh, you're the kid that did Nolly from Nose, I wish. I was like, I was how thinking you know? like, how <laughs> yeah. know? You know, like. Word travels fast. Yeah, yeah, and then I realized how it is here that mm -hmm. filmers talk yep. and photographers talk. Sure. You know? And then they told me, Man, it's gonna be opener for Fall I was like, man, like, come on, like, this. No, I love this music since I was a little kid. Like, dun, 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 wow. And then, and then, that like all that happening, and that's the second night you're here. Yeah, that was crazy, and 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 all that happening, and they were like, man, you're gonna have to move here. I was like, man, I don't wanna move. Yeah, I don't wanna move to US, man. I love my hometown, you know. But at this point in time, did you want to do the skateboarding thing? Did you want to come here and and and, and get? I want get... to. I want to. Okay. I was pro in Brazil at you that time. You were already pro. Yeah, I had like a board in a Brazilian company. What, what company? It was called Narina. Narina. Yeah. Okay. That was my first main sponsor. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, man, I I would love to do that, you know, like for all of us who love skateboarding, the you dream. know, you know, yeah, it's the dream. So yeah. like, man, now I'm in Cali, you know, th those opportunities, but I kind of don't want to move here. I know what you're saying, for you sure, know, but like, sure. but the industry's here. Yeah, at that point in time. Yeah, yeah, you I had to. And 2019, was, you can live there. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I was very attached, you know, like to my roots and, of you course. know, like Brazilian, that laid back lifestyle, yeah. Yeah, you know, even Sao Paulo, I would not go much. I would go sometimes, okay. but like not much. You'd stay around your area. Yeah, you were, I yeah. love my area. Right, I'm the same way. <laughs> and, then, and then like, man, like I start thinking about that. And in Europe, like six months before, I was skating one of the contests. Mm. And Socrates was filming, like, I think the con contest in Austria. Okay. And he filmed an Ollie Hill front nose in the rail. And then, like, it came out in those, like, 411 Europe, like, videos. Right. And then he told uh, the kid from Switzerland, I Guy Kempf. Yeah. Oh, Guy Kempf. Oh, wow. Yeah. So he told him, I was like, man, like, do you know if this kid is in the U.S.? And at that point, I was. You know, and like, wow. yeah, it was like a couple of days, maybe like 10 days after I was here. And Sock's it, the world filmer. Yeah. I mean, it, it, to get a clip with Sock yeah. Yeah. is and, like. And, and, and you know what is funny? The, at that point, you know, I would, I would film mm -hmm. like in Brazil sometimes, but usually with friends, you know? Okay. And the technique the guys had in Europe for me was so amazing because I usually, I would see Anthony and Socrates and some other guys. They all the, always would have like, they feed at the same position and <laughs> every try and i was like wow i'm so amazed about that you know right <laughs> i was like man wow. those guys are pros they're pros <laughs> sure yeah. right Robert and then it was so amazing and he he stayed there like for so long i was trying that trick for a while and then he was there and he filmed two other tricks and all the tricks were in the video okay so i was hyped i was nice you know so you were already point. so you were in california when sock asked Guy camping yeah. where this where yeah, you were. Yeah, like, you know what this kid is like. You know, <laughs> like he's like, man, he actually here with TX. It's like, oh, really? And then like he got TX number. Mm. I didn't have a cell phone at that time, and actually, I didn't have a cell phone until 2009. <laughs> wow, I totally forgot about that. Oh my god! Got to go over to his house yeah. to figure out where he is. <laughs> that my Smart. First, my first, my first phone was the LRG phone. Oh yeah, the sidekick. <laughs> sidekick. Dude, wow. That's no amazing. way. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then he got TX number, and then he called TX. Like, mm -hmm. oh, like you know, I heard that Elmo's here. He's like, yeah, he's here at my house. 
So I was like, yeah, could it could it talk? And then he he asked me if I if I was getting bored from someone that like they want all the footage and he loved it and and then he was like, yeah, it would be cool like to come and meet the guys and g- grab some product. And that that time uh, I was staying at TX house, mm-hmm. but he he was gonna go on a trip. He was flying to either Europe or Canada, and he was he was he would be on the street for like three weeks, I think. Okay. And I was filming with a friend of mine called Ty- Tyler that I met here in the first night that we skated. Gotcha. And he would, he was living in Red uh, Ukaipa. It's far. Yeah. yeah so he would go to Huntington Beach every night to skate with us. Damn. Wow. Man, like far, you know. So it's a mission. So. He heard TX was going to go on the strip. He was like, man, you want to stay in my house like for a couple of weeks? You're like, what's there to skate in Ukaipa? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> surprisingly yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah no, surprisingly. Yeah. surprisingly yeah, yeah, for sure. there. But wait a minute. What, what, was TX already established here at this he point? Was, was yeah. He on f- yeah, he was. Because he came in in 99 okay by that time he was he he just turned pro gotcha yeah the the maniki mad video was either out or about i was to gonna come say out, yeah you know so Around he was like very like already like established he was tx already yeah he was tx yeah. already you know gotcha and uh he was like my first let's say teacher here because i had that like skate scene like mentality of brazil Mm -hmm. and that at that point was a little different the mentality of the skate scene what do you do to get in companies or Mm. to have tricks in videos you know like what's the difference i think here like since that time like people plan stuff you know okay they write tricks down they 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 kind of stood stood you know like what people did at that spot yeah yeah, if i do this at that spot it'll be good you know for (laughs) for me for the video you know yeah and that was funny because like i i started watching videos since 88 89 Mm -hmm. but but like when i have that perception here that when i got here i i really understood how how people like take so serious you know like the filming and 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 i started understanding like how how the videos are done and the video yeah. parts i are, are put together you know okay. for me it was was just when i moved here that i really understood you yeah. know i uh, think also too work together, yeah. well yeah because la is such a big place so mm-hmm. planning stuff out you're not going to go waste the filmer's time or the photographer's time. You're like, hey, we're going to go to the this Wilshire is, Rails uh-huh. and I'm going to do this trick. And yeah. Okay, sure. cool. I'll meet you there at eight, eight o'clock, whatever, uh-huh. you know. So it's a little more... Be a little more professional. A little more yeah, pro. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. even the respect that people show like as tricks in different spots, let's say, mm-hmm. no, this guy did 50-50. I cannot do 50-50. Yeah, yeah. right. 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 Even like sometimes if I do a switch 50-50, it's kind of <laughs> not cool, you know? You're showing like, them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. like I really understood that, about it that TX was like my teacher. He was like, explaining to yeah, you. Showing you the like, yeah. He's like, you got to flip into it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so TX goes on the trip. You go to Ukaipa. Yeah, with I, stay, Tyler, I stay with Tyler. Okay. And then like Socrates uh, called like, man, like I want you to come here like, and then Tyler took me to Yukaipa, no, okay. to to Dwindle. Dwindle. Oh. Uh, so they gave me like some deca boards, and then I met Day One, oh. met Shiloh, you know. And man, like like girl chocolate word, you know, like those videos, like trilogy, and mm-hmm. you know, twenty shot, twenty shot sequence. sequence. Yeah. Those videos yeah. are so big on us, you know, like mm. they're big here too. You see, you yeah. see, you see the way. Brazilians skate, mm-hmm. yep. you realize that is the type of skating that really inspired Brazilian oh, skating. I mean, you yeah. look at Tiago. Like 90, right now. yeah, yeah, 95, seriously. 95% of Brazilians skate that way mm-hmm. because of those videos. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I was like, wow, man, like Shiloh, you know, like they want like, and, and Socrates, you know, like I knew the film is sometimes they, they, don't show up in the video, but you know the yeah, name, you know, yeah. the, you know the, the name. video, yeah. you know? Right. So I was like, man, Socrates, I was like, wow, I'm tripping right now, you know? Then got my first boards, and then I was like, man, after that I was like hungry. You were hyped. I was like, 
I want to feel them every day, every yeah. day, you know? <laughs> every day, every day, every day, every day. And then I met JP, JD. Oh. And that's when the LRG stuff started happening because oh. JP was on LRG. And then he was like, man, you should skate for LRG. And then Tyler was like, no, I know. I know Kenny Anderson. I'm going to take to to meet him to like... Elwood? Elwood. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. And then I went to Kenny's house They're in They're fighting Redlands. over a demo. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's only been here two days. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. No, by the time it was like two weeks. Oh, maybe still. I was here. Yeah. Still. And then like I went to Kenny's house, man, like so polite, you know. He's like the best. The way yeah. he, he received us and... I gave him my my first sponsor me tape in my whole life because in Brazil I didn't have that. Right. All, all the stuff we filmed was for like for for either like sent to the Brazilian like video magazine, and we didn't even like store any footage. We had no computers to store footage. Or just like, send him the tapes. Yeah, yeah. we 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 just sent him the tapes and we didn't keep anything, you know. So were you giving him footage from your trip out here? Yeah, yeah. From in the what States. I, I filmed in the States already with Tyler. Okay. All the stuff I had gotcha. was with Tyler. Maybe I had two tricks I brought from Brazil. Okay. That was it. So you gave him a sponsor me tape you made in two weeks? Yeah, like <laughs> whatever we filmed, you know, whatever we filmed on those two weeks, man, like every night, you know, going out every day. It's like sometimes we'd go like 2 p.m. and yeah. it's skate until 5 a.m. Yeah. yeah. You right. know, Generator, like every day, lights, like Jenny yeah, whole, time, yeah. you know. And, and for me, it's funny. What I'm from is very tropical. So yep. it's summer all year round. Yep. Man, like those first nights were rough because I was cold. like freezing. Yeah. And yeah. people were like, man, this is California. It's not cold. I was like, man, this for me. It's cold. It's very cold. You yeah. know? <laughs> You're pretty much by the equator. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, man, I was free. Some, some nights I'd go to the car, but like two sweaters. Just no way. Yeah. Where's, where's the demo? He's in the uh, yeah. car. He's, He's freezing. He's in the car. Yeah, I would stay in the car like for hours and hours. Was it because it like it was? It's so humid where you where you're from. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, and it's pretty much we don't have like it's tropical. A, a, tropical man. Yeah, we yeah. don't have a cold season. We have a ra uh, rainy season. Oh, okay. But just rain. It's like know? shorts all year yeah, round. It's, yeah, it's super hot. It's like yeah. warm. Right. All year round, no shirt. Like all year round, away. Yeah, yeah, it is. So what happened with Kenny and LRG? And then like Elwood. Kenny, Kenny watched the videos like, yeah, hey, I'm gonna take to Elwood. And then JP JD at that time he was like, come on man, no, <laughs> come on man, LRG man, yeah, come on man, let's get LRG. And then like I met the guys, you know, and Carl Watson was my favorite skater growing up. He's oh, like yeah. everybody's favorite skater. Yeah. yeah, you know so. I was like, man, like the the company calls skates, you know. So yeah. I was like, yeah, JP, let's do let's that. Let's do it. And then yeah. like, that's when the LRG stuff started happening. Mm, okay. That was like fresh. That was like it just started. Yeah, it just started. started. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the first the first place I went to grab clothes was in Santa Ana, in yeah. I think like the Lion Street or like I remember because it was the Lion name. Oh, <laughs> but uh, it was like it was tiny. Small, you know, but imagine I, this. Imagine you come from Brazil. You've been here two weeks. Nobody really knows who you nobody, are. Nobody. Yeah, yeah, nobody. And here you're going to now get on LRG. You got Kenny Anderson over here wanting to give your tape to Elwood. I no, mean, I was tripping. This is like... And everything happened. I was tripping. I, I, I would call TX, like from the payphone, yeah. and say, <laughs> man, like, I don't know. I'm kind of like kind of dreamy, you know. Like I don't know if this is real or not. But like, man, I just like had dinner with Lance and Richard Molde, you know. Yeah, like, and Kenny's I over met here. Kenny yeah. Anderson, man. Like, <laughs> and then I knew everyone, like, cause I I was following the videos for so long. So even like the Logic videos, you mm, know, like oh, yeah. all all those videos that were a little smaller. Right. I was following all of them. So even progression. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> wow, all progression. Them, all of them. <laughs> yeah. And then like when I. One night we were in Redlands mm -hmm. and I skated with Brian Edwards. Oh, yeah. And, Blushing. and Blushing. JP yeah. Blushing. Yeah. And JP. And uh, at that time I didn't met Joey Brzezinski yet. No. And uh, one day he called the guys, you know, start talking. And then he called Tyler. And he was like, man, like, I'd like to meet Adelmo, you know, and. Maybe, I don't know, Arcade needs a new M. Sure. And uh, it would be cool like to see, like I, I know you guys been filming and stuff. And it's like, yeah, he's in the car, he speaks English, so talk here, to him. Here you go. Yeah, oh, talk wow. to him. 
It doesn't have a phone button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, at the time, too, Arcade. I mean, yeah. it was a good company, bro. Yeah, I mean, man, JP, like, uh, Brian Edwards. Brian Edwards. No, no, no Brian, Brian was on Planet Earth. Planet yeah, Earth. but I was like Brian like, London. Brian London. Brian London was so sick. Casey Rigg, yeah. 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 Malcolm Watson, you know, like I remember. Sad, I, sad, sad was one of my yeah. favorite, Steve favorites, man. Steve Hernandez, man. Yeah. Like, even like I, I told yeah. Jason, I told Jason, like, when like I met him, I was like, man, like, you don't even know, like, three videos. <laughs> I loved your song so much in the next. Next this generation. is not the ne next H Street video. Right. Like the Operation Ivy song. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Man, I, I love that, you mm. know? Like, so <laughs> he was like, really? And I started singing the lyrics. Like, it was one of my favorites. <laughs> like, Dude, they, they had great soundtracks in yeah, that video. And, uh, and it was funny because, like, I knew Jason, like, he was a big influence, you know, mm. growing up, early 90s, mm, watching oh, those yeah. H Street videos. And Sad was a favorite. And then yeah, Malcolm Watson, man, like, he had a trick that I loved at that time. That was, like, the Nolly 180 switch, five volts in the Planet Earth yeah. video. So I was like, man, all those guys, you know, like, and I heard about Joey already sure. from Logic videos. And and JP was like, man, th those guys are kind of family, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, wow. Man, I felt something. You, you felt know? it, yeah. right. Hmm. I felt And then, like, at that point, I was like, man, but how am I going to tell Socrates because like I that was a big help you know like and also to too, have like free boards yeah from Deca company that I man was a big fan sure you know like Matt uh, they won Shiloh they were like super cool mm -hmm. and then I was like man but how I'm gonna tell them that I like Jason was like yeah man it's your decision you know like sure we need a new M and you are the guy yeah. like come on and I was like wow man like the way they talked to me was different too, you know? Oh. The approach was different. Like with Deca was more like, yeah, grab birds, you know, like bring some footage, you know? Yeah. More and more footage we'll the figure best, it out. you know? Yeah, we'll feel you out, yeah. see what's yeah. up, yeah. And Jason hmm. was like, yeah, man, like if you wanna be on tomorrow, you want. Wow. And then he was like, you going back to Brazil? I was like, yeah, I have my ticket to February. He's like, yeah, we can change it. No worries. Oh, wow. And I was like, no, no, I have to go back. <laughs> right, right. I have to go back, man. Like, I, 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 He's like, I, we'll start working on the visa now. Yeah, yeah. 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 I go to university over there. He was like, and then he said something that I, I never forgot. I told him that before. He was like, do you want to be a pro in US? I was like, man, it's like a dream, you know? Sure. And he's like, yeah, so go home, but you have to move here. So go home for a couple months. You move into US. you already knew wow. that, though, didn't you? In the back of your mind, you already knew <laughs> yeah. that, like you, if you were gonna do it, you had to move. Yeah, but I still have the big like, I was like, should I move? The big question, yeah. man. Like when I told my dad, because and then like, then like TX was on the trip still. Okay. And then I had to decide, you know, like I was like, wow, man, what I'm gonna do, you know. And then I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do arcade, man. Yeah. I like those guys, you know? Wow. I'm gonna do it, man. Sick. And then I tried to call him to ask if I was doing right or wrong. Okay. If it was the right thing to do. And I couldn't talk to him. And so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna call Jason. And then I called oh. Socrates and, you know, man, like, thank you so much. Yeah, man. sure. Appreciate so much, man. But I'm gonna do this. I felt, you know, this family vibe. Yeah. And, and it was, like, was yeah, it definitely man. was a family vibe. Too. Yeah. 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 yeah, and Brazil, local, Brazilian people, they are like so passionate about things. Like sometimes maybe if you do that in Brazil, the guy would be mad. Right. You mm. know, that's why I was worried. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, man, will you be mad? You know, that like in three weeks they I'm just leaving, you. you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And here, I, I, that's something that I, I learned about culture here, too. It's, it's okay, you know, to yeah, say it, that you're going to go with some other people, you know. Business. And yeah. that was mellow, so I was like, oh, that's cool that I yeah. lived, you know. You, right, right. And it uh, was amazing, man. Arcade was amazing. Yeah. Like, they were the like, who, who video? Who? Yeah, the who yeah, video. Who they were very responsible for everything that happened to me in the U.S. That was Jason, man. <laughs> yeah. That was Jason. Jason was like... TX was my first teacher, then was Jason. Like I'm he, still he, tripping that it He did. taught me everything, man. Like, ev everything about, like, the bi skate business, let's say, like, the skate game or whatever. Mm -hmm. 
That was Jason. You need that. Yeah, he's been there, done that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, seasoned pro. Yeah, seasoned yeah. veteran. We forgot to add uh, Daniel Haney's name that list. Daniel yeah, Haney, Rodney Daniel. Torres, Rodney Torres. Yeah. yeah, to keep on coming. Yeah, you know, uh, well, Junichi yeah. from Japan. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we meant. Are you mentioned uh, Brian London's name? Brian London. Dude, yeah, that guy did some crazy man, stuff. Man, like amazing skater, man. I was, amazing. I was a fan. Amazing. Yeah. I like, I like that dude. I wonder amazing. what happened. I think he moved back to Washington or something like that. Mm. Oh really? Or Oregon, where is he? Yeah, amazing skater, man. Amazing. Like, Seriously. Amazing. First trip we did to Barcelona. Wow. He, man, he did some like crazy stuff. Still crazy to this day. Sure. Did, he, did he like fakey front heel the four? Yeah. <laughs> That's insane, dude. <laughs> switch, switch, nose grind, one eight out. When they had the... Oh, the keyhole? keyhole yeah. yeah. Wow. So it's the, backside 180, nose grind 180. Or is it switch no, front switch, side? nose grind, back 180 out. <laughs> Damn. Um, what? That was crazy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he threw some and wild so ones. so many other yeah. tricks. Go yeah. watch Brian London's footage of everything. Yeah. Seriously. Amazing, wow. Amazing. I'm still tripping on the fact that this is, you know, it's people's dreams to come out here. I mean, especially uh, uh, from people from abroad to come to the U.S. and try to do it. Sometimes you got to go through distributor flow. And yeah, you got to sure. jump through all these hoops, mm -hmm. you know, and here you come out. And in just a couple weeks... You're like hooked up. Yeah, it was crazy. I, that's like uh, that's if, like a blessing, bro. Even, it's like a, even from what crazy. TX, it's, book itself. it's insane. Know, even, yeah. even from what TX told me at that time, he was like, "Man, you know, it takes time. Yeah. You know, maybe you're gonna go home and come back another trip. You know, he was explaining me mm -hmm. what usually happens. And then when he came back from the trip, I was like, "Man, I got on arcade." He was like, "What do you mean? Like, I was like, I'm on the team. It's like." That's crazy. Like, <laughs> you're like, hey, here's my new house. I got a new car. Like, I'm, I'm on set. LR, yeah. I'm LRG now. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And then like trade well, show. Were you pro for a Brazilian brand? I was, oh. yeah. You had to quit that? I did. At, at, at that point, I was like, you know, like with that emotional, you know, Brazilian, yeah. you know, like You're like, keep my boy in Brazil. I'm yeah. Like, Don't worry about it. Yeah. I, I asked Jason. I asked Jason, man, like those guys really helped yeah, me out, sure. you know, like for years. Can I keep the boards with them? It's like, yeah, I just keep the board with them. Oh, seriously? Yeah. So I had, I actually had an ad, my last ad for the Brazilian company. Okay. I was, I had an arcade shirt, arcade board. Oh. But I had an ad for Narina in Brazil. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. That's awesome. So they you, respect that too, yeah. you know. Oh, they, so they, yeah, yeah. they really respect that too. They were like, yeah, man, like, like that's so money. cool. Like you're doing it Yeah, over that's there. so cool right. you did over there. But like, if it's okay, too, you know, keep okay. It How That's long good. did you keep the board over there for? Maybe just, uh, just like six months. Okay. Then, cut, then like I moved here, mm. and you know, when I moved here, we had like so many trips and right, like video, like my first video part, and then okay. second video part, and it's a good little Brazilian hack. Like, yeah, then I, I don't have a board in Brazil. I have <laughs> a board no, in the US. seriously, because like it's actually hard for like U.S. brands to like get their boards into. Brazil. Yeah, but when yeah. I turned pro here, I was already like not in the company over there anymore. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just the first couple of months yeah. of right. US. Hmm. But uh, I love those guys to this day. They, sure. still, they still have the company. Still going on, dope. Like good friends. Yes. And, what, you know. what was the first video part you had in the US? Was who? who? Was who, okay. Yeah. But yeah. do you have who. stuff in, was it digital or something? Or? No, I had tricks. I had tricks on 411. Mm -hmm. And I had tricks on, no, digital was after who. Okay. Yeah, I think it was only tricks on 411 before mm -hmm. the whole video part. Okay. Yeah. And then with the Nolly front nose, then that I, was... Uh, yeah, then I had the opener. Yeah. And since, like, I got on Arcade, and they knew that th there was going to be an opener, so they did a commercial for, on that same issue. Uh, like, Arcade, yeah, yeah. Uh, Welcomes, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's giving, giving me bumps because I... <laughs> on that, Goosebumps. That, yeah, yeah. That, on that commercial... Uh, I choose this Brazilian hip hop song, okay. which is called "If You Fight, You Conquer," mm -hmm. in Brazil, in like in Portuguese. Portuguese. Yeah, yeah. And man, that touched so many people in Brazil. You know, like touched me so much, but like touched so many friends. Until this day, they still come and say, "Se tu lutas, tu conquistas." You know, if really? you fight, you conquer. Wow. Yeah. It's amazing. Because of the commission, because they had the Brazil logo in the arcade. Yes. The Brazil, Brazilian flag in the arcade in the logo. logo. Yeah. yeah, so it was special, man. Like, when they were like, maybe like best moments of. It's incredible. Uh, uh, the, the, so the, the, do you the always travel with a Brazilian flag? Man, not really. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> I feel like, like every time I love, a group of Brazilians, yeah, they like have the, the flag. The Brazilians do that, yeah. you know, and, and I love Brazil. But even like moving here, when I moved here, 
I would see like the uh, American flag all the time, yeah. you know? And then I was like, oh, maybe the Brazilians are getting to that point as well, you know, that pride. pride. Yeah. And I always had that, you know, we are, we came from one, you know, yeah. we are all one, this whole world, you know? So yeah. I always had that mentality of flags are cool, yeah. but man, all the flags are everyone's you know yeah. right yeah. so i wasn't not really like the, ah, oh no the i just feel like every time like any event or whatever you know where the brazilian yeah but at. they oh, do yeah. they do that yeah, yeah. for mm, sure no okay. doubt yeah now what ipath yeah then like then a couple of things started happening after the i was like at the opener and that commercial mm -hmm. and then trade show then was like the LRG, JP, like, you know, talks. And, and then, I'm sure ads in magazines, too. Yeah, You're ads doing in ads. magazines. Yeah. Do you know a, a, a very curious thing? First She Gales photo oh. on a mag yeah. was, my, was my first photo on a mag. was the wow. arcade egg ad for the Nolly Oh wow. Really? No yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Was that a sequence or was still? was a sequence, yeah. Mm. was first uh, published photo of Shigeo, and it was my first published photo. That's How awesome insane is that? Was it a photo, like an editorial, or was it an ad? No, it was the ad. Arcade, arcade, arcade. Oh, okay. yeah. That's right, that's right, yeah. Because uh, they knew it was all like happening, like, oh, it's going to be open. Oh, let's do a commercial. Yeah. And then he was like, would you go back and shoot the ad? I was like, yeah. And Tyler... Uh, my friend who was filming all the time, he was a like, good friend with Shigeo. So I met Shigeo in one of those like night sessions. Sure. And Shigeo was for Yorba Linda and Tyler's Yukaipa. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So I would sleep sometimes e e even at Shigeo's house. Mm. And then like he shot the ad and it was his first photo on a magazine. I love shit like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? How, how long were the dreads at this point? The dreads were like short. Short. <laughs> Super short. Okay. Yeah. So we got a long way to go. So yeah. yeah. We got so, a long way to go. So that was like, I had like maybe a little more uh, afro than that right now. Okay. And then I was, I was going, I was going to dread the hairs like at any point, you know, I was like just waiting you, like the locks to come in. You got to, yeah. And then actually Brian Edwards, the blessing, he yep. was like, yeah, uh, he, he asked me like about the dreads. Oh, you're going to do dreads? I was like, yeah. Like, you ever had dreads? I was like, no, it would be the first time. Oh. And and I told him, and I always wanted, you know, since I was like nine years old. Okay. And I had that Rasta education through music at first. Mm -hmm. Right. And then I was just like, you know, like following, like, you know, studying, and, you know, the Bible and... And, and seeing like the vows, and then I, I realized the Rastas do this vow for a reason and food and you know all that. Mm. And then I was like, oh, okay, so I'm gonna have dreads. But like, what I'm from Brazil is mentality very strict. Like at that time, I was like, no dreads, no tattoos, no, you no, know, no, you yeah. gotta st oh, you know, look, so I was like, yeah, let me have 18 and my, my family will be happy. Right. I'm doing it after yeah. I'm 18. Oh. <laughs> so you started growing them. Yeah. Then when I came, he was about to be dreaded. For example, the 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 opener. I have cornrows at the <laughs> opener. Okay. Because I had the Afro and did cornrows before I I flew to US. So the commercial, all the footage I have like the fro, and then like the ad in the magazine. I have the tiny dreads. Tiny dreads. <laughs> so went from cornrows. Took those out to uh, the fro, uh, and then the dreads. Yeah, <laughs> we got to get to where they were like past your knees, bro. Yeah. We got to get there. It's a long time. Mm -hmm. it's a long time. Long time. <laughs> I, I'm still. Tr I'm tripping off of. I mean, you know, the, the, it's, it happened so fast. You know, arcade, and then um, iPath was like yeah. a, what within a year. Yeah, LRG, LRG, oh, LRG, LRG yep. stuff happened like through JP, JD at first. Yeah. And call, you know, like I said, like my favorite skater growing up, mm -hmm. like the the guy who would have like reggae music in the video parts, and then like his style. And then man, I was like, yeah, he's on LRG. Like JP would say, oh, the LRG team is Chico Brand is Kawas. I was like, wow, and me. And at that point, was maybe the three of them. I think there, there oh, was no. like their tone was on at one point. That was, might have been before oh, sure. you. Yeah, right. and Ryan Denman and King Rob Gale. G. Yeah, I think. The, yeah, I think this was right before, or maybe right up. Yeah, right before I think. Mm. Oh, okay. Then we're on, and uh, uh, yeah, then was like, 
LRG happening, and then like Venture trucks, like the oh. trucks I skated since '93. They had the opportunity, like you know, like to finally get to, on to be on Venture because of Alison Castro. Yeah, who, okay. Which was my friend from back home. Right. Yeah, no cause, way. Yeah, because he's from Salvador. Oh. Salvador is like. It's just like the next Bahia is the next state up. Okay. Right. And I would go to Bahia since I was nine years old, wow. ten years old. So Alison was a friend of mine for so long, and then he was one of the first ones that moved here too. Gotcha. So when I came, so he hooked me up with Venture Trucks. I was like, wow, so hyped because like, man, I ride those trucks for so long. You guys living the dream already. <laughs> yeah, 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 everything man. falling into place. Jeez. And amazing. then Jason came with the Autobahn idea. Yep. Autobahn then, was. like, yeah, the Autobahn was since day one. Yeah. You know? Autobahn yeah. killed in the beginning. Oh, my God. Yeah. With they the clear cores. Yeah. And the, killed so in the very amazing. beginning. That was so, so amazing, sick. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then, yeah. What, how did the iPad thing it, it come into play? Then we met. Yeah. And then he saw some footage, footage, and then he's like, man, like, I'm starting this company called Organica. You oh, should skate yeah. for me. It's you. This is before who? Yeah. And then I was like, I was like, call oh, man, so much love and respect, you know, but like, man, those guys, like, you know, they're family, you know, Arcade, so like, yeah. as long as they have this company, I'm on okay. Arcade, oh, you know, wow. yeah. so much respect for Jason, man, Doug, yeah. like so much. And, uh, he was like, yeah, but let's get for iPad. A perfect. Yeah. And I was like, man, Shoot really? <laughs> and that, at that time I was getting circus since I was in Brazil. Oh, interesting. Yeah, huh. because like in the in the European trip, they I met Guy Hartley, mm -hmm. and he sent he works at Dwindle, yeah. yeah, yeah, and he sent me a box in Brazil at that time. He was Guy Hartley was actually a really good skater back in the day. Yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah. amazing, <laughs> <laughs> really good. I know. Look at you, Guy. <laughs> and oh, wow. uh, and uh, he we met in Europe, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna send you a box." I was like, ah, oh, really? And I would go to Europe every year. So that happened sometimes that that box never came. Never showed you up. Know? So I was not like tripping. I was like, oh, cool, thanks, you know? Yeah. Then that box came. Man, like big box, you know? Really? A lot of shoes. And I was skating at that time for this company called Drop Shoes in Brazil. Oh. And uh, I was like, wow. Then I, I told the guys, I was like, man, like I just got a box from Circa. So I'm going to US in December. Mm. So I might, I might be skating with those two. They're like, no, it's all good. Like oh, good cool. friends. You gave them a heads well, up. You know, yeah. good friends. And then I was getting circus for a while. Okay. And uh, <laughs> actually, Guy Hardly was the one that when I got here, the days bef before I came to US, I showed him an email, and he was like, yeah, as soon as you're here, let's skate. Okay. And then he took me to circus to get stuff. Perfect. And he was like a big help as well in the beginning. Hmm. And uh, yeah, and, and, and but like my favorite company, you know, like you guys assume would be iPad, you know, right? Yeah, <laughs> and then, really, yeah, yeah, it fit, it fit Man, perfectly. Like, oh, oh, you know, yeah. the my, oh, you know, like so much like Rasta inspiration in the company and uh, skaters, dude. Yeah, the Nate skaters, Jones? man. Oh yeah, come oh, on, geez. like and, like Matt Rodriguez, man, like oh, big oh, fan, God. like wow. Matt Pales, you know, like big fan like Bob Pudu at that oh, yeah. time like mm -hmm. so many guys and then like Carl Watson my favorite skater sure. you know and then he was like man like how about skating for iPad I was like man really he's like yeah <laughs> and then Carl was the one that it's amazing you know, hooked me up it's awesome iPad. dream sponsors yeah. too and that's funny too because like the like the friendship that we had on LRG like at first with Carl and Chico mm -hmm. and then Kelly, Jack and Rob G, you know, like that was a big family for so long, you know. Yeah. And that started over there in the beginning as well, you know. Like right. When I moved here. So it was like very special. You know? Did you ever see Carl do a front nose pretzel? Yes. Yeah. I saw him do the one that he goes to to front tail in China. Oh, no. I was there too. That was, that was insane. That was amazing. Man. Remember, remember you tried the line and you bet like when you go, you tried the line for so long for the nollie backside nose oh, grand yeah. big spin out. Yeah, I, I, I was like, we we're all having a good night the night before. Yeah. We're all at dinner. I'm like, had a few beers. I'm like, I want to do this trick. He's like. You don't got that, dude. <laughs> I was like, I bet you a hundred bucks. I felt like oh, I, I never even tried it. Yeah, I got. It's uh, a good way to spark you. Yeah, well, that yeah. came. That became a huge thing. Like me, you, 
were like the kind of the main reason behind the whole give me my money Chico yeah, thing. Yeah, for sure. Because yeah. me and you would always be betting Chico yeah. all the time. They always were, joking, you yeah, know, like always. Chico. Like, but that's Chico. That's like in, what he does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he, he never pays. No, no. Uh, <laughs> I paid him. I I gave him hundred bucks. I literally gave. No, him actually, he paid. You're sometimes. the better yeah. man. Oh, sometimes. sometimes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. We all love Chico. Oh, uh, yeah. No, he's great. Arcade didn't last too long, right? Maybe yeah, a we few had years. Who, we had who? And Autobahn was growing so much. Yeah. You know? Like, like growing, growing, like growing. number two for a while. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, they, they did, like, two trips to Europe in a row, like, every summer. Mm-hmm. And there was, like, Autobahn's growing, growing, growing. And then decided, like, Arcade is not doing that well, but Autobahn is doing super, super good. So let's concentrate, mm-hmm. you know. And then they, they and they decided, were part of Osiris back then. Yeah, they yeah. were. Yeah, but before I think Arcade went out, they just decided to start doing their own. to to be doing all mm-hmm. they want. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And uh, yeah, and then so, they went out of business. They they said, "Yeah, hey, we're gonna go out of business." And they, they even said, now you can skate for again. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so you called Carl. Yeah, and then I was like, Carl, man, like, now I can, you know. He's like, really, man, so hyped. Right. <laughs> so hyped. And, man, like, we, we he, he, he's one of my best friends in the skate community in the U.S. Yeah. A guy that, you know, like, since the time, first mm-hmm. time we met, we really clicked, you know. He's so, a great dude. Yeah, okay. so like, mm-hmm. it, it was like, what's gonna happen at some point, you know? Sure, you knew, right. I think at that point too, it was awesome, but all the sponsors you had, it like really represented you. Yeah, yeah. It's like everything you believed in. And yeah, for I sure. almost, when I think of the companies, I think of you. Mm. Like yeah. LRG, like Yeah, like were... a lot of people say that. Yeah, that, uh, kind of the face maybe of the brand. Like yeah. Six years ago, maybe, like 2013 or something. I, Maybe five years ago, I don't know. Like, it was a little bit before the 1947 video come out. Okay. Mm. I was not at LRG anymore at that point. And, what happened? Uh, no, it was just like 2011, I think they had that economical crisis sure, in the yeah. US and some people like kind of like cutting teams. And uh, I had a very good relationship with the LRG Brazil as well. Mm-hmm. So the guys kind of made a deal that LRG Brazil would pay me from brazil gotcha okay but at, at that point i was like man is this gonna ha- happen you know because like if for some reason the distributor says ah we're not distributing anymore but wait a minute didn't track. didn't give me my money chico come out in like 2010 or something yeah, yeah there was like maybe a year after that that okay. was when that stuff started to happen it like that was the first time i think we all like we're like we're all such family at that point yeah it was crazy to see people like starting to leave yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, it was that. rough. It was, it was rough. rough. Yeah. Because, like, what we had was so special, you know? It was so nice. Like, really, like, family vibe. Yeah. Family. We traveled so a lot. So many trips we did. It, so many. And it showed from yeah. the outside. Yeah, yeah. for looked, sure. Yeah. We could see it. Yeah, so, like, at that point, I did, like, I was getting paid from Brazil. Mm-hmm. And that didn't really happen at one point, you know? Mm. And got weird and... Hmm. Like they they were about to like finish the distribution and then like I start talking here talking over there and I, I got confused kind of messy you know and and that's when I left gotcha and uh, in two thousand like I don't know like right after that nineteen forty seven video come out I was here like it was July and it was fourth of July and we were in Newport Beach me RP some other like Brazilians okay in some friend's house and this kid comes comes up he's like oh man Adelmo man come on man uh, you are LRG man. <laughs> <laughs> man you LRG like your part in 1947 is amazing man I just watched the video last <laughs> time I was not even in the video man. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know but, he, he but was, you related so well with the brand yeah that, that, that like the kid yeah, said that he watched really my part in the video that's, that's like, incredible that's funny yeah. I felt like you and Carl were like you represented the company so well yeah man the know? image was very like strong like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and and that happened with IPEF as well just because you know all the guys who had who had dreads yeah. and skate for IPEF there was such a strong image oh, yeah. like, mm-hmm. in the company you know yeah, as well what, what shoes did you usually skate 
like and there was like the grasshoppers. Yeah, and, like, that the cats. was that was the one. That grasshopper, the you, vegan vegan grasshopper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> that was like was that the one with the straw? All the way, yeah. Okay, that and people sick. would be like, man, like, but those like. The hemp fabric or either the the burlap. Uh huh. Man, how do you skate those? I was like, man, I love them. It's good. <laughs> yeah. So this all happened after "Give Me My Money, Chico." Is that what you're saying? The, yeah. When you when you left and did the whole Brazilian yeah. distribution thing. Uh-huh. And, okay. Yeah, that was like, IPF days, the mm-hmm. like co-ops, and then organic started happening. Right. We filmed first. It's official. We uh, yeah we yeah, filmed like it's KO. A f- that was KO. 2006? 2006. Yeah, 2006. Okay. So we were filmed like 2005. Actually, Organica, uh, before they had like that little promo. The, the KO promo. The KO promo, yeah. That was the first video I did with KO. Mm-hmm. And then came It's Official. Gotcha. And uh, man, like that video is so special because it, to me, like it represents kind of what I used to watch in trilogy right. or like, yeah. like all yeah. the companies together with different vibes you know right. yeah, yeah, yeah. like organica had they vibe dgk had they vibe mm-hmm. expedition one had they vibe you know yeah and they are all together in the video and we were we were like such good friends as well like we all traveled for that yeah, one too for yeah. sure so it's like everyone ha- every company had their own vibe but we all yeah traveled all, together yeah. yeah so it was very special it's amazing yeah the video was very special for sure wow yeah what about iPath? No video for iPath. No, we did. We what did. Was the, what was the video? Uh, we did that Dan Wolf video. Mm-hmm. Dan Wolf. The promo. Yeah. The promo the video. Was sick. Promo. That was really good. It's sick. But at that time, I was filming like fully for like it's official. It's official. So I have only I think two or three tricks. Okay. Two tricks. Danny Renaud's footage in that. Yeah. Is so sick. Amazing, man. Like Dude. that video He's part, Jack Sabak's guy. video part. Wow. Yeah. So good, man. Damn. Match Rodriguez part. That's so ridiculous. wait a minute, yeah. you what when when did you actually move here? Those six months after like I came, I stayed the two months. Uh huh. Then like Jason, yeah, you have to move here. So that was in like two thousand and one. So like I moved in June June of two thousand one. Gotcha. So you lived here throughout the whole years. And you even have kids back home. Yeah, not but uh I got married maybe like a couple of years after that. Maybe f- Five years? Oh. Yeah, five years after I moved here. Okay. And then, like, yeah, I got married, and then she came for the first time Mm -hmm. here. Then a year and a half later, we had my first kid. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And then a couple years later. But they still lived out there. No, they were living here. Oh, they were living here. My both both kids were were born here. Oh. Do they come out here still, or? Yeah, they come sometimes. Like, actually, the oldest one come. Like, the, the, the younger one. She, now she's five. Mm. We moved back when she was like almost one year old. And uh, she wants to, you know, like to come. I want to go to California, dad, you know. But she, you know, is too young. Yeah. And like, she has to come with the whole family. Oh, yeah. And sure. that didn't happen yet. Like, But my, my oldest one came because like she's, you know, she's older. older. And she mm. meets a lot of his friends. Her oh, friends. Okay. Yeah, she means a lot. Wow. She speaks English. Yeah, fluently. fluently. Yeah. So that was her first language, kinda, kinda school wise. Yeah. At home was Portuguese, but in school was English. So I always wondered this. Like, is it weird to hear like your daughter speak with like an accent that's different than yours? It is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always tripped out on. I, I kind of like it because I'm like, wow, she speaks like... That's the wrong thing. Good yeah. English. Yeah. Perfect, <laughs> She huh? speaks perfect English, you know? <laughs> That's like about Rodrigo Peterson's yeah. kids. Yeah, They yeah, all sure. speak like, yeah. I'm like, wow, it's so crazy. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. For, but she knew Portuguese, though. Yeah, for us, we, you know, we, like me, RP, you know, like TX kind of learned here, mm-hmm. but like me, RP, like we were speaking English in, back in Brazil. Mm-hmm. So we had the Brazilian, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. Rodrigo <laughs> Peterson. Uh, yeah, accent. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. sure. By the time Give Me My Money Chico comes out, your dreads. Were long. <laughs> were long. Yeah, very long. Dude, like scary long almost. Bro. Yeah. Do you know a funny thing? <laughs> like... There are two tricks in the video that I didn't want to use oh. because my my dreads touch the ground. <laughs> I didn't want to use it. Why? Well, now what? Is we, it like a baker maker? Yeah, yeah. kind of. You know. What tricks? Which, were those? Yeah, what tricks? Uh, it was like a line that I do a fake ollie, and like two bumps, kind of. Oh yeah. Uh, like fake ollie and switching art here in the second bump. Yep. So the dreads like 
that to the ground. Now, was that something that is just you? You didn't like that, or was it something yeah, that was, like, was man, not? I wish, I it? wish the dreads didn't touch yeah. the ground. You know. Okay. And I was like, I don't know if that one I want to use. And the Sacred guys are dreads. like, No, man, it's sick. You know, touch the ground. And it's funny because, like, for so many years, a lot of people talk that, man, your dreads touching the ground. I that know. Trick. <laughs> oh. Did you ever run over your dreads? No. No. The, feel me for LRG. Uh, once we were, I think we were in San Luis. Okay. And Anthony was filming a line very, very, like, next to me. Oh, no, yeah. And he rolled over my dreads. Oh, wow. oh no way. Because I, I fell down and the dreads, <laughs> like, went in front of him. <laughs> and his boy, like, <laughs> got a couple <laughs> speed bumps. <laughs> I could just imagine, like, getting whipped in the eye. But <laughs> That's yeah, true. But that happened, too. Yeah. But that, that would happen. But even, like, with shorter. Yeah. Like, long would be, like, didn't you usually put like a you usually yeah. wrapped like, yeah. like a, a t shirt or something? Yeah, over your head sometimes. A lot. Like yeah. when it was very long, I would yeah. sometimes skate with a shirt. If it was something like backside, like that, your body, you know, you, whip it around. You needed to see, yeah, because you otherwise it, you're you're just seeing a blanket of hair. Yeah, I ha- I actually have a trick in the digital. Like when I had a part for digital, mm-hmm. I do a switch heel over a rail, and. Uh, it's funny because like I do the switch heel and the dreads come in front of my face uh-huh. <laughs> and the the clip is like long lens. Yeah. And when I land, I, I like it's only dreads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of people ask, Slam man, like, blind. how yeah, did man. you see? I was like, man, on that trick, I didn't see. I didn't it. see. <laughs> it. So I was like, I was like, oh, I you, felt the board and just feeling? like, you know, you're move. rolling away. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. So. Never an issue with the yeah, the, never the, an issue. the weight never or an issue. I surfed I surfed lopsided. since I was uh, mm. like eleven years old. Okay, and that was an issue at one point. Why? Because wet was very heavy. No. Oh. very very heavy. Yeah, that's scary almost. But skate skate wise, man, like never no no problems. A lot of skaters ask me that. Even like pro oh, skaters, sure. yeah, they're like, man, how do you skate? Yeah, you know. It's long. It's strong I was like, muscles. man, I don't feel at all, you know, at all. I mean, I guess you just get used to yeah, it. Yeah, and I think, I think like if you get like a wig and put someone's body, like mm-hmm. a long wig, right. maybe it'd feel weird. But you grew them yeah, from nothing I, yeah, to, for sure. so yeah. So I think you got used, used to it, yeah. to it. Huh. Damn, dude. Never rolled over them. Only, yeah, only the, the filmer. Yeah, a lot of people <laughs> ask that That's question. Funny. So many people ask that question. So many people. I always tripped out. I never I watched a clip of you like, when I think it's it's a feel so you gnarly front nose down the Selmar rail uh-huh. and you like miss the gate uh-huh. and I always think about your hair swinging around and catching it or something like yeah, that. that so nothing happened like no, that no nothing ever happened like that hmm. that, was, that that would be dangerous yeah, yeah. 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 that's why I always tripped that out would, when we skated I was like um, I hope like yeah, that never happened. Never happened. Huh. Yeah. Well, you grew them for like 11 years or something, right? Yeah, Is 11 that... years. And the then... first time, first time, 11 years. First time. Yeah. So they got to be that length, but then you ended up going to prison. Yeah. And you had to, and they cut your hair. They did. As soon, uh, when you go to prison in Brazil, as soon as you get in, they shave your head. Right. Yeah, it's, uh, they, they say it's for like... Life safety. Minerals. Yeah, safety and... They say that for cleaning purposes. Okay, and cleanliness and yeah. stuff. Interesting. So as soon as you got in, they shave it. Now, but you didn't go to prison. What happened with the prison thing? Because you were here in America yeah. and you went back to Brazil uh-huh. and they got you right at the airport, yeah, I went, right? Yeah, I went for a skate trip for 10 days. Mm-hmm. And the trip would be like Rio, Sao Paulo. And I would go to Porto Alegre, mm. which is south of Brazil. So I did Rio, Sao Paulo, Porto Alegre. I flew to Rio to catch the plane to back to US. Okay. And my my flight, I think it was at 11 p.m. Mm. So at 9.30, I came in to do like, you know. A couple hours early. Yeah, yeah, customs, everything. Oh, so you were coming back to the yeah, States. You weren't going. To, oh, to coming okay. back to the States. And at that point, uh, my lady and my kid were here. Wow. And uh, I went for the trip. I was coming back home. Sure. You know? So when I went to like the passport control, the guy, you know, like check, check my name, and they were like, "You are under arrest." Yeah. I was right. like, what? "Under arrest? <laughs> Why? Like, yeah. there. Why? Like, <laughs> for like which reason?" I was like, kind of like, 
Really? What are you like you about? got the wrong person. Yeah, or trying to think like, like. Do I have an unpaid skate ticket? Yeah, or, <laughs> or, I was like, what did I do? Like to get to be under arrest? Like trying to <laughs> right. think, you know. Yeah. And then like he was like, oh, you cannot go on this flight tonight. Let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go to this room. We have a little like police station here at the airport. It was like real airport. Oh, okay. We go and the guys check on the computer and they're like, man, like. This is that is some like tax problems with under your name. You didn't pay. Uh, you had a company, and then I was like, no, I don't have a company. Huh? And they're like, oh, you do like leather business, and then when they said that, that's my dad's business. Your oh. dad's been yeah. doing leather for for a long time, for like forty decades. years, or yeah, something. forty years, you know? right? So I was like, man, like, and then I I remember what happened because like when I was like. A teenager, my dad just asked me, oh, could I put your name under the company? So just better than one owner, like two owners, you are my son, you know. Oh, okay. Sounds and reasonable. And at that, at that time, I was getting some money from skateboarding already. So, like, he had some problems under his name mm. with bank accounts and credit mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. So he started using my bank account oh, for a little while. Okay. So... All, all, all those years that he used, maybe like two, three years, my, my bank account, my name, mm -hmm. he paid the taxes for, for all that. Okay. Uh, in Brazil, we have this thing that we call, we pay in the font, which is like, before you send like product, you can pay your taxes. Take quarterly yeah. taxes? Yeah. So he would do that. But like, he didn't realize since I was like, maybe like underage or like, he didn't realize that I would have some other taxes under my name. So when the company went out of business a couple of year, years later, he went to the accounting and closed the, the business and everything, but my name was attached to those taxes. So he, th he thought he closed everything, yeah. everything was all done and, uh -huh. and perfect. And since you were underage, it came with additional taxes yeah. that, that you didn't know about. I didn't know about. <sighs> So now you're at the airport, they find all this out, and they said, I mean, it's pretty much tax evasion or yeah. something, right? It's like unpaid taxes. Yeah. And oh uh, at that point, uh, like, I, I, then I realized, I was like, wow, man. And he was like, yeah, that's leather business. You have a leather business. I was like, no, it's my dad's. And they were like, yeah, so you are under arrest because of that. So call your lawyer. Mm -hmm. And... If tomorrow morning, b before you take anywhere, you're gonna have to sleep here. Oh wow! But before we take you anywhere, you're gonna have to. He's gonna have to talk to the judge and see if they give you habeas corpus. The what you can be free until they oh, the yeah. judge or whatever. Yeah. Sure. And then next morning, at like six a.m. Like uh, no eight eight a.m. Like they my my lawyer calls. And says, man, they deny the habeas corpus because you have an address abroad. Oh. They thought maybe you'd come here and stay. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And so they denied. So I had oh to go to gosh. jail. Not even jail, like prison. Prison. Yeah. Dude. Straight up. Since I was arrested at the airport, they cannot help you in a, you know, you know, like those little jails. Like yeah. in, in Brazil, we call like, delegacia. It's just like, like a county police jail. station. Sure. Yeah. yeah. They cannot help you since it's a federal area, a crime, yeah. like wow. the airport. So that you have to go to the 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 prison, like state prison. Jeez. And Rio is one of the <laughs> roughest <laughs> cities to go to a state prison. I it's bet. a bad prison. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's straight up crazy. And you're in there for like like, like almost another, two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. That was it. Wow. I mean. It wasn't it an option to like pay off the taxes or not at that it? point. Uh, you would think that since since I was under arrest, so there was no bail, so mm -hmm. I had to be arrested. They could talk. to You were the, a flight risk. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I would have to talk to the judge. My lawyer talk to the judge and see how they're gonna fix that. Gotcha. So they ask since I was arrested in Rio, so I had to go to prison. They would ask for my transfer to my hometown. 
It was so funny. I flew arrested to my You, had hit, you flew oh, in handcuffs. <laughs> oh, my God. That's like, like horrible. did you put a coat over it or something so no, nobody could see? No, like, they, they just like. Here comes a Delmo on the handcuffs. No, and it was funny, too, because one of the police policemen, yeah. he was a surfer, so he knew me. Trans skating. Jeez. So he was like, Adelmo, man, we had to put the handcuff at some point, like before, like check in, after you get in, but on the plane, we're going to take it out. Okay. I was like, okay. Well, that's nice. That was yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah. Right. Little but better. still, you got to, oh my gosh. No, it was funny to get on the plane, like the, the you know, tra the tra like the ladies. The You're in front. Yeah, they were like the so afraid, like on me. I was like, no, I'm like, no, I'm fine. No worries. And at this point, I'm you harmless. still. No dreads. They already shaved him. When you got into prison, yeah, yeah, this was they, two weeks after that you're yeah, going back. Yeah, two weeks after. Like, the day that I got, like, I slept at the airport. Yeah. So woke up, got denied for the habeas corpus. Mm -hmm. Then the guy was like, man, we are sorry, but we have to take it to jail, you know? And it'll be rough. It's a rough jail, but, like, that's all we can do. We cannot, like, have you here. Because they read all the papers. They say, man... It's sad that was not you, but like, yeah. you had to. Go. So they were pretty cool about it. Yeah, at but the airport, yeah. they were pretty cool. So they, they, cool. they drive you over to the jail? Yeah, they drive the me, yeah. And what do you do? You just go in and they immediately just start yeah. shaving? And, and it was it. funny too, because the first time they took me was like maybe like 10, 30 a.m. Okay. Then I got to jail and they, that day in Brazil, some very historic happened. Uh... Because like Rio has a lot of like drug dealing in the hills oh. around the city. Okay. And that day they did an operation, it was like kind of like a secret operation. Like a sting. In those hills. Oh. So they arrest a lot of drug dealers, so many of them. And all of them went to the same prison. Oh my God. Yeah, that <laughs> morning. Like that morning. That morning. So like I'm You're getting- in processing with all them? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to jail. And the, then the guy, like the jail director or something, he was like, oh, no, we're not accepting anyone because we have so many drug dealers coming this morning, so nobody... No, no more prisoners. What are you go, supposed go to do? Else. Yeah, so they took me back to the airport. Oh, yeah. for like one more night. No, and then like it was an hour away, so I went one hour, one hour back. In the oh. same day? Same day. And then they, they were like, man, as soon as I got to jail, they're like, hey, we're not like having... Nobody from like airports or whatever, like wow. take him back. And the, the guys are like, two guys are like, man, what are we supposed to do? Like, yeah, we're not like, accept anyone, like take him back. So they took me back to the, the airport. The airport and huh. the responsible over there said, man, like, yeah, they have to take him, man. Like we, he cannot stay here. Then he called jail. Like, man, you gotta take this kid. This kid is from a different city. No he has way. to be in that jail. Huh. That's what the paperwork says, and then I go back to jail. And oh, then that was like 3 p.m. or something. Was it hard cutting your dreads and everything? Uh, I mean, it's been a part of you for yeah, 11 years. Since it's a, it's a spiritual thing. Spiritual, right. So it was not like... I imagine you have to cry. Yeah, like was not like like sad, you know? Okay. It was more like in, intimate, like, you know, like situation. It was like, m m like meditating and, you know, like... Trying to understand the situation, mm, you know, okay. what's going on. I knew there was no option. Like, like I, I have friends that were arrested yeah. before. They shave your head right, right away. So I knew that was going to happen. You knew it was coming. Yeah, I knew gotcha. it was coming, you know. So I was trying, like, just to be, like, patient and meditate. and Accepting it. Yeah, and see what was going to happen. Because I know how jails are rough in Brazil. Right. So that was the main worry, you know, like when I... <laughs> yeah. Your main worry was your safety. Yeah. yeah, when they were shaving my head, like, you know, I was more like, you know, I met a meditation, like, you know, like... Mm. Did, they shave, but, like did they shave your beard too? They do at all, yeah. Oh, so everything. Yeah. Damn. Everything. Full manscaping. Yeah. Were they yeah. tripping on your dreads? Were they like, they were. dude, they, look at they, this. They, they were even saying sorry. Oh, they were? Yeah, they were like, Rasta, I'm sorry, Rasta, but... We have to do it, man. Like, very sorry, man. Like, can I do it? I was like, yeah, yeah, just go ahead. It's like, wow. oh, man, like, sucks, man. I don't want to do it, but 
I was like, yeah, I, I understand, you know. When you got out of jail, did they have them in a bag waiting for you? Like, yeah, then like, <laughs> like <laughs> since like it's very spiritual, you know, like. Oh, they saved them. Wow, yeah, I saved, I saved my. That's hair. amazing. Yeah, to burn when I would go to get out, I would burn my hair. Did you weigh them? I, I actually did not. No, yes. I would have wanted to know how much so those things many weighed. People yeah. ask that, like, man, should I weigh them? <laughs> do you, like, do you still have some? No, I burned them all. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, burned them all. So when you're in jail, you uh-huh. go to prison. Mm-hmm. Now you said you were, you know, rough jail. Rough. We, I mean, you must have been scared also too. First night, crazy. I man, like, I I I, I knew all those stories, you know, of people like. Trying to rape people. Yeah, you hear things, right? And then I was the like, man, like, first night, I'm, like, attached to the wall. No matter what <laughs> happens, I, do, I won't move. You know? <laughs> he, ain't dry, he ain't turning around for nothing. <laughs> Dude. I was like, I'll be, like, <laughs> glued to the wall. Right. You know? <laughs> Guy didn't even use soap. Yeah, and the first night was kind of crazy. Right. Bottom bug or top bug? <laughs> yeah, top bug. <laughs> <laughs> A little safer. There. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then, like... Uh, as soon as I got in, like the guys were very cool. Okay. Uh, it was older guys, mm. mostly like drug dealers. Okay. But older, so like the the it was it was funny because that usually doesn't happen in Brazil. Like some of the jails are very rough. As soon as you get in, mm. like some places are dirty. Some places are guys like trying to dominate and sure. make you do things. You know. My cell was very like uh, like tranquilo. Okay, <laughs> yeah. perfect. It was very tranquilo. The guys were like, man, like polite, you know. Okay. And, like was like older, like like criminal guys, you know. So mm. like they had all those codes. What so, they do? So they told me as soon as I get in, they're like, D- can you read? I was like, yeah, like. So come read all the rules. So they had rules. Oh, really? We had down. time to sleep, time to wake up, time to take shower, time to eat. You could not eat without a shirt, you know. Oh, so, yeah. So like so many rules. Interesting. So they gave me all the rules, and first first day I I was like, yeah, for sure, and then let's follow. And that was funny because I was writing a lot when I was over there like writing writing reading and writing okay. and one of the guys had a bible so i was reading a lot and one day the because ch- like in brazil the way it works is like every cell has the the cell chief let's say because okay. in brazil sometimes there is like 40 people inside like the cell, oh, like 30 geez. you know yeah. so always like either the oldest guy is the chief or, or maybe if it's like high like criminal high like, ranking you know? guy yeah so there was this guy and he saw me like, like writing all the time, writing. And he was like, man, why do you write so much? I was like, oh, it's just like poems, you know, like, like, like music. Okay. And he was like, oh, can I read? And then he's like, oh, it's like a rap. <laughs> <laughs> Did he start rapping your... Yeah, he's like, oh, it's like a rap. I was like, yeah, kind of. He's like, oh, okay. He's like, man, like. I cannot write good, you know, and uh, my wife, he was arrested with me. Uh, we were doing this dealing from city to city. Okay. And she she was not like a criminal. So mm. I'm very sad because she's uh, in a different state prison, blah, blah, blah. Right. And he was like, would you write me write a letter for her, like pretending it's me? I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, for sure, man. <laughs> no problem. And then they, I, I, write a, I wrote a like, this crazy love letter. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Without like, him man, telling you what wow. to write, you yeah, just wrote. No, free, like freestyle. He's like, yeah, just write a love letter. I was like, oh cool, man, I'm inspired right now. Like, wow, what crazy love letter, man, man. Like this guy. Did you get dirty? Did you give you details? No, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. Res- <laughs> respect. I want to suck on the mold. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Very respectful, but like, man, like deep love. Sure. You know? Like right. Deep. I was like. Something that was like inside, I was like, oh, I'm gonna like live all day on this love letter wow. right now, you know? Did he read it? Yeah, I read he, to him. He's he like, like, oh man, that's beautiful. Okay. And then he He's read. Off in the corner. <laughs> I know. Oh. He read to her next morning because what's her birthday. Oh, on that, the phone. Yeah, that, like, oh. that's why. Because, you know, you Brazil. Can't send the Brazil jails, they yeah. have phones, sure. they have money, they oh. have drugs, they have everything. Right. I know it's it. it, it, it it's like that everywhere, like mm-hmm. here or anywhere else. How, how many Actually. people were in that cell with you? Eleven. 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 Wow. Yeah. So there was a bunch of bunks? Yeah, in- it was six bunks. And they would have like 12. 
But when I got in, it was 10, so 11 with me. Okay. But they said that sometimes it's like 30, 40. Oh, wow. Yeah. That week was like mellow. So he, re- he read the letter to, to the her. Man, she must have. She was so happy. So happy. And then he was like, man, like, ask me whatever you need, man. You have. I was he, like, no, I'm cool, man. You're, you weren't like, no. brownie, brownie points. Yeah. So you he got some brownie points. Man, like, he would give me, like, so much, like, you know, like even like food because I'm vegan, so like at jail, everything like meat, you know, right? So he would get all the fruits and like, oh, that's a delmus, yeah, all the fruits are oh, delmus, wow. You know? wow, and then Tuberia. like, yeah, all because of that letter. love letter. Wow, yeah, yeah. damn, <laughs> but so wait fun. a minute though, you get in there, do you even know how long you're gonna stay? I, I mean, had no idea in your mind, yeah. th- this must you're be home. just a, a day or two, yeah, right? I mean, no, I, I knew, like, for example, as soon as I got in. The way it works in Brazil, too, is like, this is very common. Like, everyone who's in the cell, they would ask, uh, oh, what did you do? Yeah. And I was like, oh, it was like a uh, tax problem. And they were like, really? For taxes? I was like, yeah, like, my dad had a company. And they're like, wow, that's crazy, man. That's why you are on federal, right? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, oh, okay. And then, like, funny story, the guy was like, but... How come did they bring you to jail, this jail? Because this jail is just for like dealing or like airport, like mm. people drug dealing from like like different countries to Brazil, okay. you know, going out. And I was like, no, I I, I was at the airport. It's like, oh, so you where were you going? I was like, to the United States. Like really? So you speak English? I was like, yeah, I do. They're like, oh man, they were like celebrating. <laughs> they were like Why? so happy because there was this guy in a different cell that w- was arrested with co- four kilos of cocaine. Oh, jeez. And he could not speak a word of Portuguese. Portuguese. He was he spoke English. And they kind of like got to a point that the guy promised some money if they would get like his bag from the custody because the guy still had, had like a kilo inside the bag that they didn't find yeah <laughs> so they were like man you're gonna help you're gonna help us i was like man, why did i say that i know right <laughs> oh no now you gotta go try to yeah. get this guy's luggage so every day the guys would be talking to me yeah tell him that tell him this ask him that so I was like the translator. Oh my! Oh my. <laughs> Did they ever get the bag? They never got. Never by got the point I, I by the point I left, they, they didn't get the bag. <laughs> so yeah. two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> what was the final outcome? What happened? Did you have to pay off the taxes? Yeah, as soon or? as I, as soon as I got to my hometown. Oh, when they transferred you? Yeah, I by had the surfer. Yeah, cop. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had uh, like I had to see the judge, and the judge even said sorry. They. They said, like, man, like, it sucks that I went through that because mm. I like, was not supposed to be you. Mm-hmm. Right. And uh, he told me, he told my lawyer that that day that he denied because of the address overseas. Mm. And my lawyer is a big friend of mine since a little kid. He oh. He's actual, actually one of my first, like, skate friends. Oh, oh wow. In my hometown, yeah. And he got super mad. He went to like to fight the judge. Really? What? Yeah, when he denied. <laughs> That's probably not a good idea. Yeah, yeah not, not a good, good idea. idea at all. Great friend, not a pretty good yeah, idea. Great you don't want that. You don't want the, your lawyer yeah, he, in the, he in the jumped cell on next to you. Judge year. and people had to hold him. But he said, "Man, like this kid didn't do anything, you know." Like, right. He was mad. He's like, "Scared him, man." Like. He's just traveling. Like he's the nicest saying. dude on the yeah. planet. <laughs> he's doing it. Because he, he brought so many magazines. Like, to show. To show. Like magazines from here, magazines yeah. from Brazil. You right. Know? And But the guy was like, yeah, he has an address outside, you know. Like, yeah, he could go out there and never yeah, pay us. Never come back. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever talk to your dad at any point about this? Actually, I only talked to my dad like the day I got to my hometown. Because my dad is from the countryside. When all that happened, man, like he was so sad I bet. and he was so guilty. Yeah, I bet. And he disappeared. Like oh. my brother didn't know what my dad was. My sister didn't know. He went, my he, mom he, didn't well, know. like went into like a hiding. Yeah. He was like depressed. He didn't know what to do. Yeah. Like I was like, oh, my, my son is in jail. Like in real, like cause of me, you know, like wow. he was super sad, super sad. And then, but like I, I talked to my brother and talked to my lawyer, like they were mad. 
cause he disappeared. But I was like, man, like don't be, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, sure. That is from countryside, man. You know, con- countryside of Brazil. If Brazil is already passionate, mm-hmm. countryside of Brazil is extra passionate. Right. You know, people so polite and so. So when that that thing like happened, he was like, "Oh, it's my fault," and then yeah. he didn't know how to see it. people. People yeah. would ask, "Oh, like I heard that one was there," you know. Yeah, he would be like, he would run, you know. Like, just yeah. super shame. guilty, yeah. Yeah, yeah. shame, yeah. Wow. So like, I just saw him like the day I I got to my hometown because he went to oh. to see me over okay. there at oh, the wow. at the police station. Huh. So the final, do you have to pay off? Obviously, yeah. Then I had, had to, to pay. pay. That was funny because I was like, by when that all happened, I think the taxes was like maybe two thousand dollars, like fifteen hundred. I mean, that was it. Yeah. That fifteen hundred bucks. No, that, when that happened, like years ago. Oh, yeah. years. Oh, when, okay. When that happened, and I had to pay thirty five thousand dollars. Oh wow, that's a lot. Yeah. $35,000. From the interest. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> was the only way to be free and get my passport back. And Did you get your money from Chico? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, that's a lot of money, dude. Yeah. You man, know? It was crazy. Wow. It was, it was rough. But you got through it. Yeah. Everything luckily, was good. You know, and I, I give thanks, uh, you know, because. Like the the days in jail, like I say, man, were tranquilo. Could be r- way crazy, right. you know. So I was respected in the like, yeah, gave respect, you know. Like in Brazil, the respect has a lot. To it do goes with a long things, way, you know. Yeah. So e- even like <laughs> I love I love football, soccer. Yeah, and at that jail, we only had hour and a half. Per week in the yard uh, in the yard yeah mm. it was like uh i don't know how you call here but in brazil you call like closed uh it's a closed like regime or something okay like so we only had an hour and a half every week so when i start getting like more more into conversations with the guys and they're like oh do you play they would call me like skinny or rasta. They were the, Skin- my two nicknames. <laughs> skinny yeah, or like, rasta. So they're like, skinny, do you play soccer too? I was like, yeah, man, like I love it. And they're like, you good? I was like, yeah, you know. I can, I can hold my own. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then they were like, okay, so you are on the team, man. We are on the team. We're gonna pay. We're gonna play the next pavilion, you know. But like, uh, you know, let's go. And I said, like, okay. And one of the guys that uh, that was on the cell, he was a pro player. Oh, wow. Yeah, before, like, drug dealing and stuff. Okay. So he was super good. Even, like, overweight, man, he was amazing. Like, <laughs> amazing soccer player. And then he was talking to me every day and talking about teams and players. So we, man, went a you long bonded. way, yeah, 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 like, with football. So, like, the day that we got out to play, he was like, yeah, let's go, man, like, Let's win this game. I was like, okay, let's do it. Then, like, the game started, and the other team did, like, 1-0. Then, like, 2-0. Uh-oh. 3-0. Then we did 3-1. And then 4-1, 5-1. Then the game started getting, like, in Brazil, like, games get heated, you know? Yeah. Like, sure. Oh, I bet. They really get. Yeah, fight one another. Yeah. And then, like, the game started getting heated, so, like, they were, like, winning 5-1. And this guy comes with the ball in front of me, so I was just, like walking like backwards like looking at him and as soon as like he kind of touched the ball a little closer to me i came and kicked it like so hard (laughs) like just to get out get it out of there yeah Yeah. but usually when you do that in brazil it's like a rough play Mm. but people both people usually put the foot on on the ball you know you're just like yeah but the guy took his foot away man i kicked the ball so far it went outside the jail. It went outside the jail. <laughs> was the game over? Man, People that pissed. day I thought that was going to get beat up. Oh, dude, yeah. That day I really thought I was going to get beat up because it was like, it was a Nike ball, actually, like yeah. so new, like oh. a new ball, you know. Like, you can't go over the fence to get it. You cannot, man. And they, and they were like, yeah, let's go to the, let's go to the showers, man. Like the ball will be back. And then I look at the guys, look at the shower. Like, no, 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 I'm fine. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm fine. Like, I'm good on the shower. I, I, I'm, I stay right here. <laughs> and in two minutes, 
You'll believe it, man. The ball comes back. Somebody kicked it back over. <laughs> what? That's incredible. Wow. Who and the, it and over? the game kept it going, man. Did you lose? We did. <laughs> <laughs> At least you tried, man. You gave it your all, bro. I did. Man, what an ordeal. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, man. dude, I remember hearing when he went. Everybody uh, heard. It was yeah. insane. But it's yeah, like, it was, it was okay, no, in no way, and it was almost funny because it was like, not that it was, but it's like, you're telling me a domo yeah, is in man. prison <laughs> and they cut his dreads? Yeah. yeah. And like, he's, I'm like, what, how, in what way would yeah, he go to man. prison? You know, it was like big news over it here. Was, it was I like, know. it was like, no, they, someone, Adelmo had his dreads cut someone off. Someone told me at that point, I don't know if it's true or not, because the same week I think Chris Cole got on DC. And they told me the buzz of the J was bigger than that. They're like, man, like, oh, yeah. Chris Cole just got on the C was a big thing, you know. But, but Adelmo's in this, jail. This buzz is so big right now. Yeah. Like, really, yeah. man? That's crazy. Yeah. You know? I remember. It was yeah. gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People were tripping. Dude. What, was, well, people love you, bro. No, man. You know? It's, it's, like, you it's really yeah. hard to imagine you in that scenario. No, yeah. for sure. And I wonder... Oh, did people trip out on you when you're in there? Like, how are you even here? No, they did, and and they and they even said, even the guy when I wrote the letter, he's like, skinny man, man, you are too polite for jail, man. You're like, <laughs> like you'd be a good chief, man, a okay. good chief, like a drug dealing, a good chief <laughs> of jail. I was like, no, no, I'm, I'm good, go- man. I'm good on the chief. I just <laughs> want to get I'm out of good. here. I just, just want, a side hustle. Right. I just want to skate, man. <laughs> And they were like, no, no, don't worry. If you stay here too long, we got you aboard at some point. Oh, wow. my gosh. How was it that when you left, like, what did you take anything from that experience, like, that you were thankful for? Of having yeah, you? so much, man. Yeah. Like, everything, actually. Yeah. You know, like, even to wake up, you know, like. Just going to uh, appreciate where you're at, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. After that, a couple of years, like, I split on my first marriage. Mm. And that, that was something that I, I even told my kids, you know. I was like. Yeah, you you have to be thankful, you know. Yeah. Like I, I just heard a song the other day that says gratitude is a must, you know. Yeah. And yeah, it yeah, is, right. because like man, so many bad things could happen during those two weeks. Oh yeah. And and that was crazy because it was a lot of money and it was like you know some fights inside the family. Sure. But uh, you have to be thankful because. Man, like, I was there, like, with drug dealers, like, rough criminals, like, had to be a translator, you know. <laughs> you know, when, trying to get man, a kilo like, of making coke some really good friends. Guys like, for two, for two times during that week, they tried to do a, re- a rebellion in the, mm. in, you know. So it was like, so many, like, rough things that, yeah. like, saw people getting beat up in front mm. of me in my mm. jail because was not guy, the guy was not behaving the way he should behave. See? Yeah. So, like, the rules. so many things. You know? And even the so, e- even if you don't participate in certain things, yeah, too, you, you could be... You don't participate, but you see everything. You right. Know? You see, like, they selling coke. You see they selling, oh, yeah. like, right. you know, like, so many things you like, like selling phones, you know. Man, like, I bet that like, two weeks felt like a like two months. That's crazy. Do you keep in contact with anyone you met in there? After I left, since I was calling home, yeah. like a lot of times, now they have a cell phone, and the way t- the way in that jail, the way they did like was like you'd pay like twenty reais, which is five dollars. Mm. Yeah. Just one time fee, and you can call collect call. You do, you can make collect calls to your f- family. family. Oh, okay. They pass around the cell phone. So I would do that all the time. So they saved my number. Oh wow! So when I got out, was very, like was maybe like ten days before like Christmas, New Year's, and then they call me during Christmas. He's like, hey, wow. I need another, lo- I need another awesome. love letter. Wow. Like, they were like, oh, skinny, how are you, man? You out? And I was like, yeah, man. Like, yeah, man. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, man. That's pretty dope. Yeah, that's really, that's cool. really cool. Everyone, yeah. Everyone's fine here, man. Like, that's really cool. We miss you. I was like, yeah. man, like, I miss you guys too, but that's it. <laughs> yeah. I'll but, see you when you're out. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. Wow. wow. Yeah. Man, Adelmo. Man. Well, how did oh, how, did they even like? How did they find out that you can get out? Like, did you just paid it, or like, well, they flew him back to his well, did they hometown. Just, they just stop in one day in the sub, like Adelmo, you're out. When my lawyer went to see judge first day, mm. they were like, "No, we're gonna ask for his transfer." So yeah. it sometimes t- like the guys it's, even told me in the cell, they're like, "Oh man, you're gonna be chilling for like two months." Yeah, it takes oh. a long time because you're gonna be transferred. So. Yeah. 
wait like two months. You're like, like two, wow, months. two months. Get comfortable. Dude. And then got got there in two weeks. <laughs> so crazy. That sounds exhausting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was, man. So you spent f- 14 years in the States. Yeah. Right. That all happened closer to the end of you living here. Right. Or did you stay a couple more years? No, I stayed a couple more couple years. A couple more years. Yeah, that was 2010. 2010. And, uh, I only had to stay five months in Brazil. Oh. Because that happened while I was renewing my work visa. Oh. And usually the way the way that we renew work visa is you have to be here. Yeah. And then all the lawyers do all the paperwork and you receive the visa here, then you can fly out. Okay. But since I was in Brazil, man, it was so hard. It took a lot. It took like five months. Wow. Yeah. Why'd you move back to Brazil? I mean, uh, Organica. Yeah, a couple, you... a couple things. Like during that time, uh, I was, I had my second kid. Okay. And I was like, man, like, you know, the infanthood you know i had like with friends and family around mm. and grandpa grandma you know right and then i was like wow i think it would be good to my kids to have that experience family experience at least for a couple of years sure you know because and i would plus feel for your I, parents I, too, I would feel guilty yeah i would yeah. feel guilty if they were like 18 years old speaking only english to my dad and my right, mom right and not want, want to speak portuguese you know like i'd feel guilty and i was like yeah what do you guys think to move back home okay and everyone was like wow yeah they'll be fine mm. you know and it, it was at the same time that the Organica thing happened, and I was skating for a shoe company from Brazil, mm. and then I was like, wow, so I have like, like we say in our Brazilian leg, my feet is already right there, you know, so. Right. So let's see how it goes. I would be keeping coming to US every like three months or four months mm-hmm. to skate for a month. You know? Sure. Maybe the the opposite of what I did in the past. You know, it's, mm-hmm. we'd stay here five six months and stay one month in Brazil. Right. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna do the opposite. And it was at the same time that, uh, you know, you see those independent companies coming, you know, and and a lot of companies are from abroad, you know, Mm -hmm, and you see, wow, US is way more open now to the company because when I moved in 2001, this was impossible. Oh, 100%. Yeah, Yeah. this was impossible. And then I was like, yeah, I think it's the time. Yeah, yeah. So meditate, pray, (laughs) I was like, Let's go, you know? Wow. And that was amazing. That okay. was beautiful, you know? To be home after 14 years, man. Well, it was emotional, you know? I'm like sure. seeing my friends, like some of my friends had kids as well. That'd be cold at night. So, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> go, yeah. go and skate with my friends from the late, 90, late 80s, early 90s, right, you know? Like, right. man, like. I had the opportunity when I come back to travel more Brazil okay. because since I was in US, so I was either like traveling US and then Europe, Asia, whatever. Then like I would go home and I, I would only want to stay in Aracaju, you know. Sure. I don't want to travel yeah. when I was there. So so it was good to see a lot of Brazil that I didn't know. It's and amazing. then the Amazon and then like, you know, so many places south of brazil and then was amazing man yeah. it was such a nice experience to go back home so you go back there with no board sponsor you had the shoe sponsor yeah from brazil, from brazil. And, and the other companies from here like wheel company truck oh, yeah. company uh was everything was still like the same okay you know? yeah it was every, all the sponsor was still the same but organica was go- was going out of business right at during that same time so so I was like, yeah, okay, let's see. Seems like the perfect time to move yeah. back and, and try your hand at and living there. And then like yeah. all this independent like movement, I was like, man, I think it's time to start a board company, you know? So like, you started plural. Yeah. Then I was like, man, I'm moving home. Like I have so many kids that I keep watching over the years that have no board sponsor, yeah. like kids with so much like uniqueness you know and talent talent i was like man like i'm gonna start a board company okay <laughs> yeah. right. and so what year did you start that 2015 2015 yeah okay 
And how has it been going? Man, it's fun. Yeah. Uh, so nice. It's so amazing to have like a team of kids that that I I loved for so long, you know, and and that happened here too. But like in Brazil, it's even harder to have like a good board sponsor or any type of sponsor. So I would see those kids like so much talent and mm. nobody to help them, you know, to have a house, you know. Right. So I was like, man, I want to make sure that like some kid like those kids man like i'm gonna put on in my team you know? yeah man so everything's going good you gotta yeah, are man. you turning people pro Is yeah that a, that's had, a trip yeah we we since i got on we had like one more pro a couple months later that okay. was fabio cristiano he oh. had a history mm. here too in oh, us yeah. and yeah. he's such a legend in brazil you know mm. so he didn't have a board sponsor at the time i was like man it's just like it's just perfect time, you know. Yeah. So Fabio was the first pro, and then uh, two other kids turned pro. Okay. After that, and nowadays it's four pros, and we just came out with the video. So soon, one more pro. It's amazing. Ooh. Yeah. So it'll be five pros by the end of the year, which is super cool, you know. Damn. Awesome. Super cool. Man, awesome. that's amazing. You're just you're out yeah. there doing it, yeah. you yeah. know. Yeah. How often do you come back to the States? After like 2014, 15, I started the bird company. Yeah. I was coming maybe every like five months and stay one month. Okay. But then like, since we do the boards here, so I would come so you have like- the board press here and then ship down to- Yeah, to Brazil. Oh, really? really? Yeah. Why so not use, we, it? Why when, not use we, the board manufacturer down there? Because when we start Pluro, we were like, not just the boards, but like, man, I lived here for 14 years, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know? And I had like, so much of like new lessons mm. w within skateboarding, you yeah. know, like the way you do a company, the way you do a video, the mm. way you do a video part, the yeah. way, you know, you do an ad, you know, has to be something special. A right. skate company here, like it's special the way people treat, yeah. treat you know, like yeah. a company. Put all your best. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, man, I want to make sure that I do that. And to do that, we have to have the best quality boards mm -hmm. right now and the best quality boards I'm still made the oh. tier one now in US. Yeah, 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 yeah. sure. Or China. Yeah. yeah. So you guys just came out with a little video, you yeah. said, right? The plural video. Uh -huh. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it's fun because like some of those kids, it's their first video part. Some had video parts before, but like for like three of them, like the first video part. You got footage in there? You got a part? Yeah, I have a part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to see that. I know. Yeah, <laughs> and also, too, um, high clothing? Yeah, so... What, what's what's so going after, on with that? After 2015, mm -hmm. I, was, I was coming, like, staying, like, that time in Brazil and a month, two here. Sure. Then it was so cool because the, the, the board company started, and at the same time board company started... I met the guys from High Company, and mm. they already had all, you know, the idea to be in U.S. as well. They were doing really good in Brazil. Okay. So they were like, yeah, we're going to be doing U.S. as well. So I was like, wow, that's amazing. So even that, like, with High, made me, uh, gave me the opportunity to come in more and more to U.S. more often, and, and now they have apartment here, so we are more and more often over oh. here, and they start selling way more in U.S., so, man... It was perfect timing, you know. For Sounds like so, it. Do you act? Do you skate nice. for them and work for them, or what's just your skate just for skate? Them. Yeah, just skate okay. for them. So you could be like, hey, I want to go skate in uh, L.A. for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, man. So give now, me the keys. Now it's nice, and they they had the first video out. Now they are filming the second video. So Dope. kids are keep coming here. So RP skates for high as well. So Felipe Ortiz. Oh wow. And some other skaters from from Brazil who have the roots in Brazil. So okay. it's a mixed team, you know. Man, I would love to skate for that thing. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> clothing sponsor. That's a dope yeah, company. Yeah. They make it's, great clothes. You know, yeah, great clothes, you know, like nice mentality, mm. good like skate program. So, right. Yeah. <laughs> you said it, it kind of has, it, it reminds you of LRG in a way. Yeah, it's when, like, when, I, when I first met them uh, and I look at the first catalog, that that was a deja vu, you know, because like when I when I met the guys from LRG, they were like man, super small, you know, like mm -hmm. there was a garage, right? You know, and two amazing designers, mm -hmm. and amazing clothing already, and a good skate team. You know? Yeah, yeah, the quality and, was amazing. Back yeah, then. and and like 
when I met the guys from High Company and I saw the first catalog, I was like, wow, déjà vu, you know? Huh. They they have a different approach in things, but like that déjà vu of, of, of like knowing that the company would do well because of the quality, you know? Yeah. It has uh, potential. Yeah. yeah. Well, I felt the same, same vibe. That's <laughs> great, so man. Sick. I love that you've had the career where, you know, you're so, you know, dedicated and hyped on the brands you skate for you know it's very close near and dear yeah it's, you know? almost, uh, it's amazing man, I, I give thanks because like so many of the companies i skate for like companies that man i had so much love for you know like like ventry was a company that i was skating for like so many years before i started skating for them right yeah. and then like autobahn arcade was companies that I had so much like love for the guys because of all the help. And yeah. then like Organica was Cole's company, my favorite, favorite skater. skater. Yeah, man. yeah. Like yeah. the LRG big family and how high company now such a nice big family. Yeah. And you know iPath like, as yeah, well too. Like, those guys. The over company there. I skated for Brazil was responsible for me of going back and do things, you know. So Right. So so nice. And now plural with like kids that that man like i saw them like growing up you know and yeah. now have them on the team is so so nice turning people pro <laughs> it's amazing it yeah. must be a great feeling it's a great feeling and, and so much resp <clears throat> and responsibility as well because like you know all the videos until the plural video i had video parts on the video right you know i didn't have to direct anything or didn't have i would have like i always i always loved to to choose a song mm -hmm. you know like right like usually like some rasta lyrics you know like mm -hmm. i want to communicate that yeah you know for sure but like but like little help with editing and music but like neither than that never you know? full production yeah, start to finish no. and then with the plural video you know i had help of friends of filming editing right. everything but like you know, have to be directing, oh, who has this part here? Oh, part over there. Who has there, the last you know? part? Yeah. Who has the yeah. last part, you know? Man, it, it, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Man, yeah, look yeah. at you, bro. You're doing great, man. How long yeah. are you going to stay in town for? Uh, I stayed a whole month now. Whole month yeah, I August. was here last month. Oh, you were? Yeah, f film for the video and then okay. went to Brazil and now I'm back staying a whole month. Perfect. And maybe moving back soon. Really? <laughs> oh. Bring the whole family? I don't know. Breaking yeah, news. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Damn. That'd be cool. <laughs> just stay at the high house? Yeah, stay at the high house at first and then like, you Fuck know. Fuck it, just live there. Yeah, bro. because like. <laughs> Save money. Yeah. Man, you know. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let them pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> I give thanks, you know, that like what California did like mm. for me as I all those skateboard lessons and right. then move back to Brazil and try to implement all that. Yeah. And, and, but, but, you know, there is still a lot going on here. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And the skate scene here. I miss, I miss things here too. Yeah. You know, well, naturally. there's no reason why you can't, you know, kind of go back and forth yeah, like you've been sure. doing, but you know, spend more time in, in one place and then spend, you know, half yeah. the year here, half yeah. the year back. That would be good. For sure. It's a long flight done. though. It is. Well, that's what I'm saying. Spend flight. half the year, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, especially to my city, but now, uh, you know, like going to the Amazon, staying a little bit in the oh. Amazon as well. So it's super close, you know? Yeah. There you it's go. Super close. It's like five hours to Miami, and then like it's closer from Belém, the Amazon, to US. Okay. Then from uh, from Belém to Miami, then from Miami to LA. Oh. Yeah, it's closer from Brazil to Miami. To hmm. huh. Coming from the Amazon. Crazy. Yeah. I've never been wow. to the Amazon. You should. Really? Know, man. It's hard, awesome. to, yeah. hey, hard to believe. Hey. Yeah. What do I? It's awesome. What do I do down there? S S Kenny, man. Like uh, the trip. Yeah. The, oh yeah, yeah. The trip we did, man. It's everyone's. Who, everyone who went on the trip is their favorite skate trip ever. I bet. Yeah. Because like. Where did in, you skate? Man, they have spots. They got spots. Do they? Yeah. They yeah. have some plazas middle of the jungle out of nowhere <laughs> and you're taking like a boat to catch yeah, yeah because like during the the rubber you know like time when they had like rubber coming from the amazon mm -hmm. so many people like had so much money over there oh. yeah. so they would say oh i want this plaza just like the milan plaza oh i want this plaza just like paris oh. i want this plaza they were replicating different plazas yeah. is it all because of the rubber industry 
Yeah, like it was really? so big. Even I don't know if you guys know there is a city over there called uh, Fordlandia. Okay. Which is like Fordland. Mm -hmm. And uh, the guys from Ford did this whole city, just like a California city, mm -hmm. middle of the jungle, like What? California style houses. Yeah, and they, they had people go there to work to, to use the rubber to do, I think, like maybe the tires. tires oh, so they like would that. build towns. Yeah, or they, no, they built they it this town called Fordlandia. <laughs> they would build it for the employees. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And it's still there. And you can go skate. It's a ghost city nowadays. Oh, it is. Yeah. Kind of like China. Yeah. Wait, did, what a do you trip. have footage? There's footage of you guys skating there? No, we we were going to go on that that first trip to the Amazon when the skateboarder guys uh, did did that group. Yeah, John Marin and Josh yeah. uh, Stewart. And uh, we were going to go there, but like, Belém is a huge city, so a lot of skate spots. Okay. Manaus is a huge city, so mm -hmm. a lot of skate spots. So we had Belém first, and we went during the rainy season. So every day from 6 a.m. to, no, from like, let's say 11 a.m. until like 4 p.m. was like strong it's rain. Oh, yeah. geez. So we had to wake up super early and skate, skate. and oh. film, and then rain, and then skate after rain again, because it, it dries quick. It dried right. Oh. And then like, uh, we did Belém in a lot of rain, And then they decided just to do the major cities. Okay. And one other city that was in the way, which is Santarém, what, which is very good f for skating oh, too. Wow. And it's in the middle of the jungle. So hmm. in the route from Belém to Manaus. So oh, that's what we One did. of these days, I'll you have, maybe make it down there. You I have to go, mate. So yeah. yeah. ask, uh, ask Kenny, ask the guy. Did you do ayahuasca tea on that trip? Yeah, everyone did. Really? Don't we, you have to have like a shaman do it all and stuff? Yeah. Get, yeah. But, But it was funny because Jake Johnson, he was, since the beginning of the trip, he was like, man, like, I want to have ayahuasca in the Amazon. And then he had this book about our ayahuasca experience. Okay. <laughs> so he was really trying to, to find a way or find a shaman or find, yeah. you know, someone who had ayahuasca. And when we got to Manaus, which was the last city, there was this jungle tour that you could uh, buy that you You'd spend like two days in the jungle. Okay. So you'd go early in the morning. I uh, would go swim with the the like the Amazon like dolphins, <laughs> and then the pink dolphins. Yeah, the pink dolphins. Yeah, the pink dolphins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure? What? Yeah. Are you sure they're pink? <laughs> yeah. They are. Or is this pink. after they're you drank something? Yeah. yeah. No, okay. Okay. They are, okay. <laughs> they are pink and and you'd have a lot of activities, mm. and then they. One of the activities is have a dinner in a in a tribe, you know, like a, yeah, like just like the way they do with dinner. The they do they yeah. do dinner like for people when they come there. Okay, so with the native, the mm -hmm. same same food. So that day, I think was a big alligator. Wow, yeah. the alligator is good. Yeah, <laughs> they, they say it's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. I mean, you're vegan. Yeah, you didn't yeah, have yeah, yeah. It. <laughs> so. So, but they have this big alligator, and in the way there, I think was either Jake or someone else asked like the guys, oh, maybe ask if they have ayahuasca in right. this tribe. Okay. And the guys like, oh, actually, in this tribe they have the ayahuasca ritual. Oh. Yeah. So they're like, really? So let's do it. Then everyone's like, yeah, hey, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. yeah. So everyone do it together. No way. So wow. the twelve of us did together. Wow. It was fun, man. Some cr crazy experiences happened that I'm night, but sure. like, how was your experience? Mostly was fun, man. My mine was very spiritual. Really? It was like beautiful. Like, I kind of like saw the the how color came to earth. How color? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> was like. Uh, Earth was black and white, and just like a person with like it, 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 man, it was it for me, it was like an answer. He's having an ayahuasca trip right now. Yeah. <laughs> for me, it, for yeah. me, it was like an answer. It was like a person with light in his face, yeah. just like sending color, like the beginning. Wow, for me, it was that. Wow. Yeah, I've heard well, about different beginning of uh, humanity. Right I've here. heard of a different experiences <laughs> where like people have animals running through their bodies. Yes, yeah, some and stuff people like had that, that like, experience as well. But, oh, yeah. but also, I heard that it's very like people go down to drink ayahuasca 
for some type for uh, ailments that they have. Yeah. For like Bra- diseases Bra- or cancer yeah, or yeah, different yeah. things. In, in like Bra- it's a very healing. In Brazil and South America, the tribes they use sometimes as a native way, especially t- either that, if you have if you are very sick, yeah. so they the shaman and the person drink together, so they see. What's wrong? What is going on? Like, kind of like they have that connection yeah. mm. with ayahuasca. And the same if the person is turning, like, from a young age to an adult, you know? Okay. Like, so, kind of like, oh, here, now you're going to see things you haven't experienced before, you know? Wow. So, yeah, there are a couple, a couple different, like, uses they have. Sure. But usually, it's that is very, it's something very deep. Mm, Did yeah. anyone have a bad experience? Someone, yeah. Oh no, <laughs> some, some of the guys. Yeah. Really? We had a Spanish guy with us. He was not a skater, yeah. but he was from Spain. He was traveling Brazil, so he heard we were going. So like, oh, can I go with you guys? Like, yeah, man, just let's go. It, yeah. You know, like, yeah. and we had that. We had an Argentinian, and we had this girl maybe from Sweden. I think yeah, Sweden. Oh. So it was like three persons out of our group okay. and, and they they had ayahuasca with us as well. so it was like 15 people total and uh this guy from spain he was drinking a lot every day uh, uh, before mm-hmm. that night oh alcohol yeah and and you are not supposed to drink when in, in the tribes when you're gonna have ayahuasca you have mm-hmm. to be very clean oh and this guy was drinking drinking and when we decided to have he was like the shaman said, "If if you are drinking too much, maybe don't have the ayahuasca because mm. it's gonna be a, bad, a bad trip." trip. Yeah. Wow. And this guy was like, "Yeah, no problem, man." <laughs> oh no! And then he had the ayahuasca. He said next morning that the whole night he was seeing like kids making fun of him because everyone was sleeping hammocks, yeah. right, on the boat. So he said he was seeing so many kids around his hammock just like pointing and making fun of him all night. What? That is a trip. That's a random weird one. That's a bad trip. That's a bad trip. (laughs) Especially when you're tripping. Yeah. (laughs) Man. (laughs) Listen, bro, you've done it all, man. I love it, man. And you're still doing it, you know? It's amazing. Just came out with the video part for Plural, Mm -hmm. doing high clothing. Yeah. It's incredible, man. man. Maybe going to move to the States. We'll see. (laughs) We'll see. I wanted to ask some. You travel with Carl a bunch. So much. Like... I've been some funny stuff with you, but like, please give us a Carl Watson story of like traveling or something with him, man, or even just hanging out. So many, man. Like, <laughs> like, like, like a good one. Like we in Paris, mm-hmm. skating, LRG trip. Okay. And uh, remember, Cody and Chike was. Well, were I wasn't on that trip. Ah, you're not. No, no, no. So Cody and Chike is like two filmers. They do like music videos and. They do like a bunch of music videos for like Eric Badu and oh wow and uh, Kanye West. The first video like so those guys were friends with some guys that work at LRG. So mm-hmm. they they were like okay we're gonna send some uh, some guys who shoot like videos to do like a lifestyle like a lookbook yeah like a you piece. know yeah, yeah okay They're like not it it'll be it'll it won't be like skate footage it'll be like, separate yeah don't worry guys it's just <laughs> for like, internal, yeah, internal yeah. use only yeah. right yeah. we got kanye west filmer yeah you know you know how skaters yeah, yeah, are yeah. like oh this guy doesn't skate man like right. i don't want to yeah. film you know and uh <laughs> and then like they they are there first night we are we went like nighttime skating mm. and uh we went to that the place Remember that, like, the five stair, like, the five five big stair that had Bercy. Oh, Bercy. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, like, we are skating the ledges, mm-hmm. and it was pretty dark. I think it was maybe, like, around, like, 8, 9 You slide on the grass? PM. Yeah. Yeah, they had the big grass. <laughs> yeah. Hill. Such a good spot. And then, like, we are checking, you know, like, just checking first, first night, skate spots, you yeah, know. Just cruising around. Just cruising, and then... The guys start filming, like Kudi and Chike. And then they start feeling, get some angles. Man, Carl goes, and he goes for a, cr- a crooked grind in the ledge. Uh-huh. <coughs> but he thought the guy would pull the camera, right? Oh, no. Oh, so the guy was filming right here in front of the ledge. 
So Crash he goes random. crooked grind like full man, like full speed SF style. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna grind this ledge. <laughs> Rah, man, and the guy didn't pull the camera, so the <laughs> camera is, went to his ribs. No. Oh. Yeah. Break and a rib, maybe. Pretty much. Oh no. Yeah, and call oh, man, hurt so much. And oh, then, it went like, into Carl's ribs. Yeah, Carl's ribs. Oh my gosh. Oh. And they're like, yeah, man, like you better go back to the house and stuff. So like oh, we go no. back, and then he was having a lot of pain, a lot of pain. And like 3 a.m., he goes to wake me up. He's like, man, like I'm sorry to bother you, but it hurts so much. Would you go to the hospital with me? Wow. Like, cause like I speak a little bit of French. Okay. Yeah. So I was like, he's like, yeah, hey, man, I need help, man. I don't know if they speak English or you know. Like, sure. But it hurts so much. I need. And then we went, man, like 3 a.m. And man, got call. He he was impressed. He he was so well treated over there. And he was like, and then like I was translating at first. Then the people were trying to speak in English. Okay. And, Man, he he got some like medication. Then like he got home like so happy. Man. Yeah. Did the filmer get out of the way uh, <laughs> after, after that? that yeah. yeah. <laughs> man, he felt bad, man. Such a <laughs> such a good work. guy, man. Right. Cool guys. Well, he you probably know, the, the filmer probably didn't think that the guy that yeah. Carl was gonna get out of the way. Yeah. They both thought yeah, they each both, other you know, was gonna get out of the way. Sometimes you you are use it to some. Everyone pulling the camera. Yeah. Like, oh, he's gonna. Right. Well, it's funny too because a lot of people maybe don't know this, but Carl when he skates he goes all in yeah like he doesn't like i'm gonna warm up little he like goes full speed and just yeah, tries it man. Man. that's sad yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's amazing yeah carl's yeah. such a good dude yeah, yeah. you know amazing, what he's man. like one of the best guys ever such we gotta a, get him on the show such a good brother yeah, yeah man his style cannot be replicated at no. all that's what i'm saying it's, like he was the first man. dude like front nose pretzel yeah like no uh, like and, none other and yeah. that was funny too like all those connections man like like when who comes out I think was in the trash review, hmm. uh, if I'm not mistaken. They say Adelmo, just like a cow Watson from Brazil, man, like, uh, oh, like oh, reading that back. sentence, I was like, wow, like, you know, I was like, <laughs> That's so the deep. biggest compliment man. to yeah. you. So deep because, like, he, he was my favorite skater growing up. You know? well, listen, bro, we're all huge fans yeah. of you. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. 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 As a person. <laughs> huh? Just as a person. Yeah. 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 All around. <laughs> skater. <laughs> Person, Thank you, you did some unique tricks, man. Oh, What's yeah. up? What about the switching word heel flip reverts? Real and life. And <laughs> heel reverts? What like what inspired you to do that one? Because I never seen anyone do that. Yeah, what's point. what's funny? I think we were together in Barcelona for yeah. the KO trip. Yeah, and uh, Ted De Gros was there too. Oh, yeah, yeah, all and, the uh, alien habitat dude. Oh, so yeah, we were like skating flag round uh, at Macba. And uh, we were just talking about tricks, you know? And then they were like, oh, you have a good Nolan Art heel flip. Why not, like, do, like, revert, you know? Wow. And we started doing right there, like, I was like, wow. That it works. No way. Yeah. That's how you just started doing that? Yeah. Well, that so ground's how, good, too, because you yeah. can kind of slide Sorry, it uh -huh. if you're... And then I started doing it. I was like, wow, man, like, it's dope, you know, it looks good. Then, like, I came back from that trip. I Yeah. With that trick, mm -hmm. uh -huh. then I was like, "Wow, maybe with the switch in our heel flip river, it would like be same. similar, you know?" Because right. not in our back one eighty switch in our heel river, so I started doing it and and came it good. I was like, "Wow, I'm gonna try to do on a like maybe a gap or gap. bump." Yeah, and then I do the one to manual at the oh, video. Yeah, that's right. Down and the... then I was like, "Oh, I have to do on a gap," you know, and I did on the gap yeah. like in. It's, uh, yeah, it's that right. city after LA uh, has an airport. Ontario. Bur uh, Burbank? Burbank? Burbank, yeah. Uh -huh. They had like a foundation. In oh, is that where the uh, fence was they yeah, were skating yeah. over? Oh, okay. yeah. So, that was a popular spot back then. Yeah, it was. <laughs> that and the Hernandez legends. Yeah, that's true. Spot. That's true. Yeah. Man, hopefully you'll move here. Bro. Sure, I'd love to bro. go skate, you know, <laughs> hang good, out. Right? We'll go to the high house. I'm a big fan of you guys is, thank for you, bro. so long, man. Like Kelly, I had to to travel so much with the opportunity but I was a big fan all you guys man like people in Brazil like big fans of the skateboarding of the companies you guys always skate for like the show so. oh man we appreciate thank that thank you dude all we appreciate love, that all yeah. love bro man. hell yeah Domo listen 
This has been incredible. <laughs> Can we great. give you some nine club stuff to take home Please. with you, bro? Yeah? Please. What size? Extra large. E- extra large. Extra large? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, he likes, uh, likes it bad. <laughs> yeah, you know, flowing, bro. So Remember sick. the double X time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so sick. Skinny <laughs> likes them bring, double X's. You should, you yeah, should bring skinny like them. Two double X sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's going to go grab some stuff. All JPJD's inspiration. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Skate with him yesterday. Oh, no, yeah. dude, man. He's great. He's awesome. Yeah. He's Much love and respect, yeah. JP. Man. It's funny because I never really like would take JP for getting you on our kit you know what i mean uh-huh, like it's just like sure. a weird I, w- I didn't expect i didn't expect yeah, that lrg huh lrg lrg yeah, and X- Joey grabbed them for no our yeah yeah for yeah. sure but, but he was already that was yeah, maybe yeah. like jp's like oh yeah for uh, sure yeah, influ- yeah. influence for sure right yeah <laughs> what's next bro you got the plural uh, yeah you got... just keep a, a filming for a high video now yep. and uh is plural available here in the states? Yeah, we have a couple shops. Yeah. Like since the beginning, shops like Furnace, for example, mm-hmm. like they call me a demo man. Like we need like this you know you. plural here. So we have in a couple stores. Right. So are you with any distributors here in the US? No. Like yeah, we, like yeah, we yeah. do by ourselves. Oh. But like, uh, hopefully, like moving here, we're gonna be able to have like you know like an office and then yeah. like right. start selling more. Cause like a lot of people who who hear about it and know they're like oh man could we have like either like east coast you know like mm-hmm. places mm-hmm. like that right and i was like man like we don't have enough in us but like i can ship you guys and we ship boards to florida sometimes to right. uh new york east coast like here here is easier because like i come more to cali mm-hmm. okay. so more shops in this area but mm. hopefully soon like have you thought of more and more with what? Have you thought about like partnering up with Croupier? Yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah. We, t- we talked about that before really? with RP, you know, because like Peterson. Yeah, yeah and, and and it's other brother of mine, you know, like yeah. skated for all the same companies all, yeah. all those years, you know, like so so much respect for what he does, mm-hmm. and and you know, like 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 we talked before, like the Brazilian army is always together. It's strong. Oh, yeah. it's know, strong. <laughs> doing things together. Sure. Yeah. And now for the sure. landscape has changed so much in skateboarding where brands can just go wherever you yeah, know for and sure. like yeah, obviously you. like there's a demand yeah, for and, plural out here yeah and, and and it's so so different because like when i moved here you had to be here oh, to, of course to make things happen you know like it was hard for the european guys believe in europe and mm-hmm. not here it would be hard for the asian guys yeah. believing here not. even the canadians yeah even the canadians Especially the Canadians. Yeah. Seriously. so Thank you. Kelly. It's so fun, you know. It's so fun lately, lately, to see all this independent movement from the companies from Europe and Asia and it's everywhere, amazing. you know. Yeah. And available here, so it's. Oh nice. yeah, dude, I love it, bro. If someone, if a skate shop in the U.S. or wherever wanted to get your product, how do they get in touch with you? Uh, nowadays, easy way, Instagram. It's yeah. So easy, okay. you know, like a little to, DM. Yeah, it's so easy. What's your website? Uh, it's pluralskate.com. Okay. Yeah, and Safe. it's it's made for us for to ship like anywhere. Like yeah. most of shipping is done to Brazil, but we do shipping to US. We done a, a couple times. Too, Red, so. love it, bro. Doing Thanks, it, brother. Listen, much respect, brother. I got some nine club stickers here for wow. you, bro. You put those yes. on your board. Thanks so much. Photo incentive, twenty yes. bucks. Okay. Oh, Let yes. me tell you something, yeah. huh? We're doing big well, things. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, here's a nine club mug wow, for your ayahuasca. Amazing. I mean, uh, whatever you want to, <laughs> whatever you want to put in there. Acai, okay? acai. acai. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Listen, first of all, I forgot. Much respect, <laughs> Love you, man. You're the man. Extra large. Um, oh yeah, long sleeve. No, no, Thanks. is that a long That's sleeve? A long sleeve. Yeah. Long sleeve. Yeah. Long sli- we, we have so, so much product. Stuff. You know, For I don't Cali. know what it is. Cali weather. Cali weather. Oh, here's yeah. another pack of stickers. Look at oh, that. Yes. Kelly snuck in oh, there. Yes, Brazilian another kids will be hyped. Really want some photo incentive. Yep. Extra large T-shirt there for oh, you, yes. you know. Vertical Thank logo, you. vertical cool. logo, and oh, bro, yes. look, listen. Oh, this is uh This is comfy. This is the Nine Club Army Green hoodie Brazilian embroidered. army yeah. yes the Brazilian <laughs> yeah. army bro. I had to grab the green one yeah yeah Thanks, and also a uh, a crew neck Thanks so embroidered much, much respect had to lace them up royal blue a yeah. pleasure man it, all those colors align with your what you want or listen? so nice you have not, green too 
Sounds if great. not, we could. Uh, I love those. After the show, we'll go back in the warehouse. Beans knows me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Beans. I, Beans. He's he's the one of the only ones that still calls me that regularly. Really? Uh, yeah. Amazing. He calls no. He calls it Beanis. 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 Well, we Beanis. now know what his uh, title will be in the end. <laughs> Beanis Hart. Yeah. Yeah, you have to tell me how to spell that. I have no idea. I love that though. I appreciate man. it. Adelmo, you're the man. Dude. Adelmo, bro. Listen. Please, next time you're in town, also to uh, let's go skate for sure. Skate, teach me. I think I never had a, a trick film with Raji. Oh my yeah. god, I've been on many sessions with you. Yeah, and I think what? you usually had someone do it with you. Yeah, like Carville over there or whoever. It's Tyler that time yeah, was Tyler, a lot. Yeah. yeah. What's a trick? Fakey, fakey, and word heel revert. What fakey? do I do? Yeah, fakey, fakey or nollie? No, fakey because I I can't do nollie. Oh, you you know you called King uh, Fake Master in Brazil. Fake Who? master, you? Fake FIBA grandmaster. Uh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. No, it, it's funny because like in Brazil, we always give nicknames to, oh, yeah. to the guys to the in guy, the yeah. videos. Oh, yeah. What's wow. the color thing you're on? Trey Flip Master. Oh, oh be honest. Wow. Yeah, be honest. Be honest, <laughs> master. Be <laughs> master. No, but seriously, if I wanted to do, because I can't do Nolly inward heels. Uh -huh. Fakey inward heel. Fakey inward heel revert. What would be a good... Like, what would you explain to me, like, how to do it? Yeah, Start it, trying it. Shoulders? Yeah, yeah shoulders Shoulder. and, like, Start you know, like, it. the sweet, like, <laughs> sweet Chauvet's River, for example. Yeah. It's that catch that gives you the... It's the catch. Like, yeah. the rewind, you know? You're already rotating your shoulders before yeah. you even yeah, pop. Yeah, for sure. Now, do you go back or front And side? that's a Carl Watts inspiration, too, because, like, he always, like, back doing side. the tricks. Like, we, we call in Brazil the... The core? Yeah, the, the waist, <laughs> the yeah, he's, twisty, yeah, man. Whatever. He always did that. I remember like one that I was tripping out when I saw he did like nolly one eighty to switch from feeble. Oh yeah, on the flat bar. Yeah, that was insane. That was insane. It, during that time too, you know, yeah. he did so it was like, creative. Yeah, he, very. Creative, remember at Pier man. Seven in the line with nolly one eighty nose mail back to forward. Yeah, like all that stuff. He was like. He still is the king of that. Yeah, dude. for sure, man. Front nose, the tail slide. Uh, That's crazy. That yeah. nose you made in Nolly 360. Yeah, you know. He man. always had those amazing... Tr oh, dude. Yeah. Sorry, real quick. What is the trick he did at... Um, man, he did a crazy trick at uh, Fort Miley. Remember he did a trick manual and goes into the bank? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. What did he... Like, he was in a, it was an Organica commercial. Yeah, if, even that, the Nolly 180 switch nose grind river, he was, I think, the first to do that on the ledge. Oh yeah, the the yeah yeah the one that everyone does. Yeah, now. Everyone. nowadays is is it's very common. You know, he did it at Third yeah. Army. Adelmo, I have one more gift for you. Really? Yes. Oh yes. Listen, you've been enjoying this hi-fi hops the Love whole it. episode, bro. How you feeling? Feeling, feeling good. good. Feeling good. <laughs> huh? Well, we want you to feel good for the rest of the for the rest of your stay here, yeah. or maybe even a couple nights. It depends how much you drink of it. <laughs> how many come in here? Like 24 oh, there. Oh, yes. give you a whole box of them to take home. Wow. Look at that. There's for the a whole crew. There's a whole. No, that's just for you, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Listen. I'm sure the boy's going to want some. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Sure. No, enjoy. Take that home. Thanks so much. Have a, good, have a good time. And do it again. Thanks Adelmo. so much. Thank brother. you so much. Respect, brother. Oh. Pleasure. Yeah, dude, My thank pleasure. You. Thanks, brother. Thank pleasure. Much Adelmo. Respect. Be honest. Uh, be honest. Be honest. Yes. honest. Respect. Respect. <laughs> be honest heart. <laughs> How do you say K fatty in uh, Portuguese? K fatty? Yeah. Gordinho. Gordinho? Gordinho. Gordinho. Yeah. yeah. You have to spell that for us. Gordinho. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I will. How do you say all of our names in Portuguese? Like, I, like you pronounce it differently. Uh -huh. How would you say mine? Heart would be coração. Los coração. coração. So Kelly, coração. Okay. <laughs> what about Roger? How would you Roger, pronounce it? Rogério. 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 Yeah. Rogério. Rogério Bagley. How do you say Bagley? Rogério Bagley. It's probably Bagley. Yeah. Bagley, yeah. yeah. Bagley would be hard. But Chris, Rogério. Chris. Cristiano. Cristiano. Yeah. Cristiano Ribeiro. Yeah. Ribeiro. <laughs> <laughs>